Oh, 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 oh boy, here we go, baby. Woo. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? E yes! Hello! Hello, my name's Matt Malone and I stream iRacing. <laughs> Good to see you, Dead Man Killer and Jax the Doggo. E Rudd, Mass Racer, Lextron, Slugger, Dylan, Psycho, hold my SR. Biff Mofo, Kart Racer. We got Dead Man Killer. Hey, Mad Stop, good to see you. Hey, Dead Man Killer, good to see you. Smoogers is here. Hello there. Hey, Dead Man Killer's in the house. Uh oh, Merle the Ford dropping a t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t t Hey, thanks, Merle the Four. Appreciate the tier two. We got the bomb diggity. We got Dead Man Killer. He's in the house. Now, How are we? Good to see you. How are we? Good to see you. Alrighty then. Hold on. Uh, hey, we're not doing Sebring. Not doing Sebring 12 hour. Meant to do this a long time ago. Race Labs? Why you no start? Race Labs, you never started. Sign in? Uh oh, I've been canceled. They're two hours. Sebring's the most overused track in iRacing. It... It's on all the schedules. I know. I understand that. Oh, there's an update to Race Labs. You know, Race Labs is getting to be just like Crew Chief. Unbelievable. Captain Ballbag is here. Welcome, Dempsey. Good to see you. Hey, what's the forecast? What car do you drive? What wheelbase do you use? Oh, my God, your neck, Malone. Choose your gimmick. <laughs> just chill. We're chilling. Actually, me and uh, my beautiful wife, ex fiance Samantha, she thought it would have been hilarious to just start the stream, sign up for the 12 hours of Sebring, just race, and then like at around noon or so, like five hours in, just like going to the pits and be like, all right, uh, thanks for watching the stream. Uh, good, good job, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> I thought that would that would have been pretty hilarious. <laughs> Just don't even mention anything. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. I haven't really seen anybody else do anything, but... Okay. I think we're good. Go ahead. All right, uh, today's gonna be awesome, guys. 
finally back in my in my happy place. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. And if you're not having a good weekend, well, you are now. Try to anyway. Yeah, no pesk today. I was, uh, I know I told you guys on the last stream that it's like, whoa, wait, hey, whoa, there's gonna be pesk this weekend, but no, it's not. There's no pesk this weekend. Next weekend. Um, yeah, they usually will, will, won't schedule something like that if the iRacing's doing a big event or whatever. I mean, most of the time, Pesk is every other weekend. Sometimes, sometimes every week, I, it's, just, it's just a weird schedule. Yeah, this is, uh, I had my eggs, got some coffee. I was on a little late because I was doing the dishes, but we're, we're, we're set up, guys. We are set up for a nice, long stream. I'm going to do a little bit of everything. You guys are probably sick of looking at Sebring, but I wanted to give this uh, race another shot, you know? Big Barry, good to see you. Oh, yeah, Dempsey. Shit. I forgot about those. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely play some of those. Hey, Dem... Uh, you're at work, but... I don't know if you can, but... If you wanted to, like... If I can't, like, find them or whatever. If you wanted to DM some of those songs... That way they're easier for me to find. That'd be awesome. Otherwise, I can find... I, I think you DM me a couple of them anyway. Oh, you're not working. Okay, great. Yeah, I had to... I recalibrated my uh, pedals for this. My default... My default pedal calibration. I felt like my brake was, like, really hard. I wanted to have it match up to uh, all the other cars I drive. This seems much better. I am, but later, you tit farming, rambling nipple farmer. Whoa, 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 what? I need a click on the force feet. I just want to get things dialed in, you know? I got to get things dialed in. Need a click more on the force feedback. Feeling it. Goal is to gain some eye rating today. Just do real good and kind. Uh, we were leading our split with Sadakist and got murdered by a GTP. Yeah, a lot of uh, murder investigations are going to be started here. To this, <laughs> a lot of people going to be brought before a jury of their peers, I believe, in the next couple weeks. NFM, welcome. Clear. <laughs> okay, he gives up. GT4 too fast for him. K E K W. Smoogers, Keck Dub. Hey, Smoogers. Thank you so much, man.
D Dukester, how are ya? Thank you for the resubs, guys. He's a cone killer. So right now we are practicing. This is called practice. It's where uh, you just get out there on the track and you run some laps. Really get a good feel for the car. Exquisite, dropping a first time sub. Hey, Exquisite, what's up, man? I saw that you followed earlier as well. Exquisite's new to the channel. He uh, likes what he sees so far. His opinions will change. Thanks, man, I appreciate that. Exquisite. I find your subscription very exquisite. We're going to die. Something broke. <laughs> oh my god. Been watching on YouTube for a while, so my opinion will not be moved. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> thanks, man. Well, welcome. Sim Racer Pat, thanks for the 12 months. Hey, you've been upgraded. I believe you have a uh, new sub badge now. Hey, Riku. I'm allergic to practice. Yeah, I know. I always get like... I always start feeling a little funny when I practice too much. Thought it, uh, I thought my game crashed there. It hung up. I ain't got the money to throw subs around without a proper QC period. That's right. Quality control. Need to find some better lotion. My skin's very sensitive. After I shave, I... Wow, what a gaggle. Hype train incoming. Daniel the Freak, 16 months. What a gaggle indeed. What are we talking about? Racing. see what we got here. Matt Malone, number five car. Yikes. Look at this guy's name. Really need to change, uh, let me mess with Race Labs for a second here. Got that, uh, weather in the wrong spot. No, you know what I need to do is, I need to turn... I need to, uh, Hello. I need to turn off the track map when I'm out of the car. What I need to do. Hide in garage. Yes. There we go. I think that ought to do it. Oh, okay. Thank you, Dempsey. Good morning, Bee Sticks. Oh, did we get much snow? A little bit. Not too much, like an inch. Hey, Lamborghini Messi, thanks for the tier one. First, uh, first time stopping in the channel. I appreciate that, man. Welcome. crazy out there. You're over the cold weather. 
Yeah, it sucks. I know, Dylan. Trust me, it sucks. Cleveland? Now, now we're supposed to get, uh, supposed to rain Monday and Tuesday. Lamborghini Massey, man. Hey, I love your stuff, too, man. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Yeah, I'm ready to complain that it's getting too hot. Oh, dude, I, I'm the first one. <laughs> yeah, God, it's hot out here. I'm sweating already. Yeah, TD Carlo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't remind me. Oh, that traction control kicked in. Yeah, the uh, 12 hour started with a uh, rain. Dumb honk, welcome. You're the legend. We gotta do good in this race. It's gonna be a real try hard uh, stream today. Why am I not doing the 12 hour? Eh. Couldn't find any teammates. <laughs> I didn't really ask anyone. It's just. We got. We're busy later and. We got a lot of shit to do and the 12 hour even if you're not going to race the full 12 hours it still takes up a portion of your brain yeah no I, yeah no I thought about it hey goose that's epic man hey I put all my lights red white and blue too I'd be interested, though, Goose, if you wanted to take a picture of your rim with all the lights on, put it in the Discord. I can see that. If you want, I don't care. Working on the library. I think I'm gonna possibly film the uh, You've got about two laps of fuel. racing room tour video today. Or get some of it filmed. Hold my SR 12 months. Thank you, buddy. Hey, Squid. I gotta go. I'm feeling strong. I gotta go higher on the force feedback here. I'm not getting much. We go two more clicks. I'm crazy. I'm looking to get sweaty. Yeah, I bet you GT4s will get rain next, or it'll be part of a package soon, I would imagine. It'd be good. God, this... F go, go, go! Feel... I feel really slow. Huh. Yeah, that's right, Dempsey. Yeah, you can only break in a straight line. 
rain for PCC. That'd be a lot of cars. I mean, I could see him adding it to Mazda, but... They're probably not too focused on doing rookie stuff. Because the rain thing is, like, pretty advanced situation. They wouldn't want to have a bunch of rookies in the rain, you know? I mean, they did the Toyota, but... Cup in the rain would be tough, yeah. Screwed up turn one. Oh no. Peeing in the cup is always hard. I got bad aim. Well, apparently I can't, Gary. series won't have it yeah he's a legend the king Matt Malone's the name my racing's is ring in a world where speed is the ultimate game he races with skill no need for fame Somewhat lewd. They say he's racing with the need to depart, but listen closely as he sets the record straight. Smart. I don't actually have to prove he declares behind the wheel he's caught unawares. I don't have to poop. race fans good to see you welcome on in my name is matt malone and i stream my racing i wanted another go at it hopefully this one isn't like wwe style where someone jumps from the top ropes and totally demolishes my mercedes we're doing the falcon tire it's at sebring let's go Hey, Orpsal. Uh, what's up, man? Thanks so much for the 23 months. The smoke. The smoke out, kid. Thanks for the two months, man. Mr. Chipset coming in 39 months strong. Hold my SR. 12 months. Appreciate it. Explicit souls here. I can start the stream. Okay. Let's do it. On the virtual racetrack, Dempsey and Malone Soon and fast, the competition never race alone Dempsey's got the skills, his velcro steady and true But Malone's always wrecking, blaming others, what's new? Car, side by side, they ride, all speed and fast Dempsey's velcro power, Malone's dash, so sexy at last <laughs>
Stacy's focused and determined, he takes every turn But Malone's wrecking rampage, his lessons never learned The rivalry heating up, the adrenaline's high In this virtual world where races don't lie I don't agree These are false statements Liable Come gather round me, hearts. Let me tell you a tale of a lad from Sheffield. His skills never fail. He's Dempsey, the Twitch streamer, with which sharp as a knife. His velcro tongue and dantic spice up every stride. Balls, balls, balls. Oh, watching Dempsey stream a sight to behold. With his velcro penis, he's fearless and bold. Blaming others, his favorite game to play. Stalking alone every night and day. He's in the bushes. He's gonna get me. From the land of Pride not fucking wants me. Whoa, whoa, In the whoa. world of gaming, he takes us for a ride. With a cheeky small grin and a charm so fine. Subscribing to join the pyramid scheme and remember the terms and conditions. Okay, 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 okay. That song isn't even about me. It's about Dempsey. <laughs> What's up, Kurt? Hope you're uh, traveling safely to Florida. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, I want to totally redeem myself here. GT4. Falcon Tire, Sebring. I'm ready to go. A number five car. So I gotta do well. Uh, I think we're going. This is a multi class race. Standing start, yeah. Green, green. Get him, get him! Careful. Clear. Car on your left. Clear. Protect that apex. Stay on the right. Stay on the right. I think I can get this. Clear, left side. Alright, two for one deal. Clear on the left. Booyah! I didn't I was just trying to get I was just trying to get around Dominic. Or hold it. I'll take it. Oh, Well, we didn't get pile drive to uh, turn one, lap one, so I think we're good. Oh, buddy. He is not okay. There's a button I can push. Oh, there it is. Wow, total destruction.
the sun. Oh, you're already in Florida. Nice, Kurt. Oh, man. You know it's all cold and rainy and snowy here, you lucky bastard. <laughs> nah, I hope you guys have fun, man. Easy. Oof. Hey, Huddington, good to see you, man. These are big Mazdas? Okay, Daniel the Freak, I drive other cars besides the Mazda. Well, I don't want to, no. All right, let's get these guys, we're in the top 10. We need like a top five, possibly. Just trying to find the rhythm here. Better sounding Mazda, yeah. This guy's starting the pits. Clear. Let's not worry about our safety rating today, okay? There's only so much I can keep track of. Bread and water? That baked beans in front of me? I don't know. Looked like a pizza at first. Can't tell what that is. Bunch of water water soaked Cheetos, maybe. You ever go to have a bowl of cereal, but then you realize you don't have cereal or milk, so then you just fill a bowl up of Cheetos and dump water in it? Uh, you guys haven't lived. Never? Huh. I got the force feedback uh, cranked, by the way. Just want to be able to feel the car, you know. That guy felt that wall. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nice. Two more positions. We're in sixth. My calculations are correct. Now catch the Porsche. Nice, nice. We're in draft. Yeah, I think that top five's definitely possible. I mean, it's a shorter race, it's 30 minutes. You guys can see the track map. I don't know how long it takes for the LMP3s to come around, but. They're half a lap already. Yeah, we'll definitely ha have a LMP3 encounter. Grab that curb. Oh, this guy's having issues. Going for the pass, he's not defending. He's pulling away from me on the straights. I'm gonna look to the inside here. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Clear. Hold it tight, nice. He made, he made that a little too easy for me. Left the car in the just left the pass to flat. 
Looks like we got a beamer up there trying to hold off a merc. Maybe they'll battle. Push, push, below. Push. Oh, sweet, Deuce. Yeah, we'll definitely take a look after the race. say Merc, you think I'm speaking of the element Mercury? I used to drink a lot of that stuff when I was a kid. Woo. Um, no, my mom tells the story of when she was in grade school they did just hand out like a bunch of mercury well, you could, so drop, you could play know. with it you know because it's like liquid at room that. temperature basically it's pretty crazy i don't know people just say the merc when they're saying mercedes People say the Fefe. I don't really like to say that for Ferrari. They say the Fefe. The Porca for Porsche sometimes they say. I don't say that. Sounds weird. Mo mostly I think people shorten it up for when they're typing it. But I don't think people say it a lot. Fifi. Oh, yeah, Fifi. The Porker? Oh, the Maka for uh, McLaren. Yeah, they, everything's got a little pet name. I'm going purple. That draft. I think I can get this guy. One second gap, I'm getting draft. It's gotta be smooth. Whoa, I'm fine. Oh no, oh, he's got issues. Those cones are gonna slow him down. He Whoa, don't, hey, he's throwing red shells at me. Look out, <laughs> freaking landmines. This son of a bitch is out to get me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's against the sporting code, guys. <laughs> I avoided him all though. He's lucky. I'm a real good cone dodger. He knows he doesn't have the pace, so he uses nefarious tactics. <laughs> I don't agree. That's not very sportsmanlike. <laughs> yeah, 
There you go, Aiden. Do it up, man. It's the weekend. I just realized he's the number 20 car. Yeah, we uh, we have to pass him. Ah, missed it. Dang it. I always struggle to set that corner up. We got time. We got time, though. Race ain't even half over. I'd like to get around them before the LMP3s come and get us, though. They're incoming. There's snow on our house? A little bit, yeah. Hey, Bramster. You like that name, Bramster? How'd you sleep? Good? Good. You have any dreams? No? Did I have any dreams? Um, no, not that I can remember. <laughs> you didn't have any? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, he has a purple car. Yeah, there's a purple car in front of me. Car coming up quick. You think I can pass the purple car? Good. All right. I'm so fast. Don't, don't worry about that car. He's in a different class. Yeah. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. No. Ah. Multi-class racing. Fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, relax. I didn't move this is like a whole new level of uh, <laughs> distraction. <laughs> uh. Please don't hit me. <laughs> yeah, we were fighting yesterday, weren't we? Nice move, Fabio. Your co driver is not helping you. What? You're supposed to help me win the race, not decrease my chances. No, don't push buttons. Can't push buttons, otherwise you gotta go upstairs. Don't do that, Ellie. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to win a race! Please don't do that, Ellie. Ellie, stop. Right 
Car right, still there. Clear on the right. Back in business, baby. <laughs> Don't push those buttons. E for Ellie? I got this force feedback crank, dude. It feels amazing. Dude, that pink LMP3, such a great move by the pink guy, dude. Oh, whoa, whoa. no! Oh. oh, I thought he was gonna come back. Yeah, yeah, it was that one who did it, huh? I thought the guy was gonna come across and kill me. Okay, yeah, but. Yeah. I'm sorry to that, but I was behind the uh, Jeep before. Can't really go anywhere. Man, now this Merc got a gap on me. From my perspective, you drove into me, but I'll have to watch the back. Am I running 27 newton meters of power? Well, in the software, yeah, but... If it wasn't me, then I'd stop on drugs. I don't know what I'm using. I may be using, like... 60-70%. Eleven minutes? Okay. The beamer came back to us a little bit. Where are you going down from? I am not feedback. Ellie, you need to be careful, okay? Less than optimal. Hey, uh, Dust, Dusted Steak and Gent, uh, thank you, Forever Red, thank you. Kevin Gara, appreciate it. Breaking the storm here. The traffic One last straggler. You gonna wait for me? Go, go, go. Clear on the right. Perfect. Whew. King Klutz. Oh man, that sun. Man, he takes a real wide entry, doesn't he? Oh. Whew. 
Oh, he's a streamer in front of me. Just gives me more incentive to try to pass him. Oh, he's not a streamer, okay. Oh man, that sun. Oh no. Way too deep. Not good, I, I suck it with brakes in the GT4 cars. Another straggler. Yeah, slow him down, slow him down. A little bit. Passing him should boost my I rating even more, quite a bit. I'm on the Invicta base. Sorry, uh, Jorge. The Invicta base with the Forte uh, F1 style rim. And it's our chance. Go, 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 go. Oh, the curb. I was trying. Oh, no. Oh. You can see all my eye rating. Oh, the worst. Oh, damn. The car in C1 just set the fastest lap. 9.483. Clear. The car behind is closing on the gap is. Punted myself. Damn 
curb got me, dude. So annoying. I was just really focused on exit. Hey, Polynami. Still there, hold your line. Stay on the left. Still there. Clear on the right. many I'll get back here but not enough self-inflicted Maybe get a couple more spots here. I'm th I think we're getting white flags, so. Dang, dude. Ah, what a shame. You gotta be able to put it all together, you know, for the whole race. Four I rating. Oh, my God, I almost spun out again. <laughs> That's red, Fabio. <sighs> ah, disappointing. Disappointing. 11th place. <sighs> Plus one spot gained. Right. This ticket flag. <laughs> Bring it back to the pit. Oh, what a shame. Oh, well. The most important thing is that we learn from our mistakes. Yeah, it happens. Man, dude, I can, I, I'm not even that mad about the loss of I rating. What I'm mad about or disappointed about is that I missed out on an opportunity to battle someone for fourth place. Right? That's, that's what I don't like. Yeah, I recovered and finished, I guess. All right, Turkey Timeline. You know it. You love it. You want it. Can't get enough of it. Um, 
Un momento. I, uh, I guess I screwed up the controls for it. What was that noise? Um, wait, how do I do this? Oh, I can use this. Alright, here we go. Let's see uh, if I was the only one that had issues or not. Disappeared. It makes me wholesomely warm knowing you waited for traffic to pass before pulling out. Well, it was just the one Porsche. Yeah, I didn't want to run into everybody. Hey, Bucket. You've lost your wing. Oh. <laughs> Quick, get to the pits. They can fix that. Dang. It was a good race, though. I mean, I got to think about it. Like, I did have a good race. It's just one mistake, you know? Oh, this is where the guy hit the wall. Ba boom! Oh, it is beans. Yeah, it's beans on his car. Quick, think of something funny to say. Quick! 90! Thank you for the 98 months. 98 months for 90. Thank you so much, man. He's here. 90's here. We can, we're can. we officially starting the stream now that 90's here. Oh, the results are already in. I lost 44 I rating and 0 .07 safety rating. Not too bad. Not too. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Where's my wreck? Came pretty late. I like this. Uh, I really do like this series. I feel like the LMP3 and the GT4s just fit so well together for multi-class. Oh, jeez. These guys don't fit well together. I'm down to 2.47. That's high for me. Down from what? Oh, 4.99 after Bathurst 12 hour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a long time ago. I burned through that pretty quick. No snow? Oh, we got a little bit of snow. Oh, they're battling. Ooh, that's some good action. Hey, Tom, good to see you, man. Yeah, PCC is weird where, like, it doesn't really work with the cars and the speed differences. I mean, so many times, like, so many different tracks, you're going to have Clios and Toyotas and Mazdas all racing together. It's just like, huh? Oh. Yeah, Falcon, this is a good series, Falcon Tire. Oh, there's Matt Malone. Oh, he's not part of this, though. Oh, they're, they're having a little, little scuffle. 
guy's all by himself. What could possibly happen? Someone call 911! What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you got kids in the room, if you got kids in the room, they may need to leave. Oh my goodness. Totally normal. Nothing's wrong with this game. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Uh, am I going to do super lights? Super lights? Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little look-see. <laughs> Everything's at Sebring, so we'll try to avoid Sebring. Where is Porsche Cup? Porsche Cup is at Brands Hatch. Interesting. That'd be a tough race. Yeah, if you're from Texas, uh, you just broke the law by watching that. I'm new to sim racing. It feels like the entire goal is to be as close to spinning out as possible. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, I don't know why that made me laugh. Uh, yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> Look. How do you how do you drive a car the fastest around a track? You have to get as close as you can to the limit of grip, right? To go as fast as you possibly can, right? Well, what happens if you go over the limit of grip? You slide, you spin, you wreck, right? So yeah, it's yeah, you're living on the edge, right? Yeah, it's very very much the point of it. That's why um why it's com it's a competitive sport. <laughs> um, but the problem is, well, yeah, you just got to be able to, you know, because a lot of people, I think, practice to where they just like they're just flying into corners and then they keep trying to back it off. But, you know, and there's a benefit to that. But you should, like, like in real life, you d can't do that. So, like, you start out slow. You start lapping. You start, you know, figuring out, okay, well, I'm breaking a little early here. Uh, you know, so you start breaking a little bit later. You, you try to carry more speed into the corners every time. And, you, like, you slowly amp it up. Right? To where, uh... You're like, oh, I'm starting to get it. But you're going to cross the line and spin out. Have you ever been to the Brickyard 400? No. I have not. Oh, wait. No, yeah, I have. Uh, Indy 500 is what you're talking about. Indianapolis Motor Speedway is what you speak of. Uh, I don't, I don't see this, uh, picture. Simrig showcase, maybe? Oh, here we go. So, in the chat, we have Goose. He recently picked himself up some Ace Attack gear. And he's digging the, uh, the customization that you can do for the, uh, lights on the front of the wheel. Which I also have an American themed. But I like the way you did that. This is what mine is. I kind of... Oh, that's a bad... Hold on. What the... Uh, here we go. Oh, that's still bad. Here, let's just make it bigger. So I went with... This is a great camera, by the way. So I kind of did a, a little bit different, but I like yours. I like the more... Uh, like all red, all white, all blue. Look at this action, huh? He's got it figured out. Is that the Forte bundle? I think Goose said it's the Forte bundle. OK, 
Could use a favor if you're around after the stream today. Uh, yeah, I will be. I'll probably go till like 1 p.m. or something, though, maybe. Maybe later, I don't know. I work for Penske, so I get free tickets. It's a lot of fun. It's the Invicta. Well, there you go. Yeah, I can see it now. I can see it now. There it goes, Goose. <laughs> He's uh, picking up some... Uh, some epic ace attack gear. There he is. He was picking up the Invicta. And he's, hey, whoa, hey, welcome to ace attack. He said, uh, I can help you out. I can help you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, you're picking up the Invicta bundle. Oh, huh? you're going to make your uh, real nice, uh, real nice forte button box. Oh, that's very good. Very good. Oh, yeah, so very good. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're checking out. Oh, perfect. Yeah, you're going to love it. He hooked it all up, and now he's having fun. <laughs> Yeah, Kurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem. I can help you do whatever. Yeah, later we're not doing anything. I think, uh... Well, Samantha's mom is coming over. Samantha... Doesn't really matter, but I'm talking it through just for myself. Samantha has a massage at 11. So Samantha's mom is coming over. She's gonna hang out here with the kids while Samantha's getting the massage. And then when Samantha comes home... I'm sure they'll hang out for a little bit, and then uh, she's going to take Ellie with her to go home. And then it's spring break next week, so Ellie may be gone for a while. No, we'll see how long. But yeah, so yeah, we have plenty of time to do whatever. Thank <laughs> Goose. It's super easy to sell equipment that's amazing, so... Yeah, the Invicta is really... Yeah. It's just like one post. Anyway. We'll do Porsche Cup. Why not? Want a little bit of a challenge today. Well, where is it? There it is. Oh, nice, doing it sweet. Uh, those boxes are empty. They may or may not be. Oh my god, it's the Indy layout. No way, for Porsche Cup? Oh boy. We're in trouble, guys. We're in trouble. You live five minutes from Brands Hatch? Well, when I get out onto the racetrack and I start revving my engine, open your window, see if you can hear me. Then we'll know for sure. Fix setup. Fix setup? Oh, they switch off. Yeah, that's right. Well, Goose, you know what you need to put that Ace Attack gear on, don't you? You know what it is. Next level racing, of course. Last time I raced at uh, this track, there was a huge lake that formed right here. I'd get my oars out. You got a slow car on the left.
Yeah, I got the iRacing Edition next level racing rig. I mean, it's a couple of the parts are blue and then there's a couple stickers, basically. I mean, it's cool, but. I mean, I like how my windshield wipers are on. I'm just praying for rain. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Everything's pricey in the UK, I think, because of all your fat uh, tax and all that shit. But yeah. Oh, careful, no ABS in this car. If anything, this should be an action-packed race, considering how short the track is and how many cars they allow on the field. I can't slow down! Ah, uh, this car. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know if you know this, but I'm uh, involved in an esports league, okay, that drives this very car. So I am well versed in the intricacies of the Porsche Pickup car. So much so that I once won a race uh, against the likes of one Casey Kerwin, uh, not to mention Tony Canan. Uh, so. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably win this race pretty easily. I'm, I, it's possible I could lap the field, but I try not to do that just because I don't want to completely demoralize my fellow iRacers. I mean, it's just the kind of nice guy I am. Cut to 10 minutes later. He's in the wall. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm an esports driver. <laughs> Whoops, wrong button. Whoops, wrong button. Whoop. You know, I even I labeled all my buttons and I still pushed the wrong ones because I have a button labeled pit, but then I have a button labeled exit. So like the pit, what do you think the pit button is for? Pit limiter, right? But why do I push that when I want to go to the pits? I don't understand called my brain doesn't work <laughs> my first race with you apologies in advance new to i racing hey you'll probably beat me dg daniel reed you'll probably beat me you're fine uh either that or just stay the hell away from me pick one of the two either kick my ass or stay away from me that's <laughs> nah, all fun These are standing starts, too. I mean, I... I listen, if Brands Hatch Indy was like a standalone track... And, and regular Brands Hatch didn't exist... You'd be like, oh, this is such a fun track, you know? And it is a fun track. But I just can't help but think whenever I'm racing at Brands Hatch Indy is like... I'm missing out on all the good parts of Brands Hatch. Like, a majority of the, the best parts of this track are left out because of this configuration, you know? It's such a good track. But they're both good, it's just...
like coming up this hill right here and just trying to get everything out of it uh, just like that So good. Nice short track racing. Excuse me. I'm, uh, I'm being a menace. Oh. Who needs practice? Excuse me. Pest driver coming through. Excuse me. <laughs> Feels like my first time on the service. It'll be fine. Hey, there's Daniel Reed. There he is. He's new to iRacing. He's already better than me. 100%. Left side. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Feels like my first day. Hey, let me try this one thing I saw. Entries. There, now I'm the only car on track. Deal with it. I just deleted everyone. I Thanos the, uh, the server. <laughs> that is actually my first time ever using that. I saw it in a, pretty sure I saw that in a Daniel Gray video. Imagine Daniel Gray actually teaching me something I didn't know about iRacing. First time that's ever happened. Nah. Okay, Michael Bray, have fun with that. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. It's Easter egg hunting.
Hey, Andrew B9. Hey, thanks for the sub, man. Manz Manzerstein, thank you for the sub. We're probably going to win the race. When she goes, she goes, yeah. stream right now perfect time to tell you that i am sponsored by asa tech asa tech sim sports provides some of the highest quality sim racing equipment on the market check it out exclamation point asa tech get all the info the affiliate link use matt malone uh, promo code to get five percent off your order i'm loving this stuff this is some of the highest end sim racing equipment on the market loving the new forte button box you can swap out, they got like six rims or so, you can swap them out, anything you want, anything your little sim racing heart desires. Ace Attack's got it, okay? So you get your Ace Attack uh, Forte button box, you can pick any rim you want, you're out there racing, you're having a good time, and it's all because of Ace Attack making some high quality stuff. Check out the pedals, I've been using the two stage hydraulic pedals now for a while, loving them, absolutely loving them. So check it out, exclamation point Ace Attack to get started. All right. You didn't know about Ace Attack. You went with Moza. <laughs> you know, they accept returns, right? <sighs> Ace Attack is a new... Uh... They're pretty new in this sim racing world. And they're doing it right. They're doing it right. Number three car. Oh no, that means I have to do good. Come on, we gotta gain I rating. We have to gain I rating. <laughs> gain I rating. You're up in the giraffe. Son of a gun. <laughs> we'll play the Dempsey song. In your about, it only talks about gas and brake. Do you have a clutch? Yeah, I do. If you're talking about the website, it's... Oh, if you're talking about the website, it's so outdated, man. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I have... Yeah, I gotta update the website. There's a lot of stuff I gotta do. But yeah, I got the uh, Invicta S Series pedals with the clutch. And I use the Forte pedal plates. I need to get a pedal cam. Tony, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. 
This is uh, not the 12 hours of Sebring. I'm doing rando races. I'll do whatever I want, right, Tony? I'll do whatever the hell I want. Good to see you, man. Hope all is well. Get it! Qualifying is very important. It's important you don't spin out. This car is very easy. We're in the green. Got it. Hey, did you hear that? Uh, Tony threw away all of his Simicube equipment. And, uh, oh, looks like he uh, picked up a bunch of Ace Attack gear. Yeah, Tony Kanan. He saw, he he knows what's up. He, uh, yep, got a bunch of gear. Oh, I'll help you out there. I'll help you out. Hey, Tony Kanan, thanks for coming to Ace Attack store. I'll help you get checked out there. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, yep. Oh, oh, you saved 5% using the promo code Matt Malone. Well, that's great. That's really good there, Tony. Oh, yep. Yeah, perfect. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're going to love that steering wheel. Oh, yes. Oh, you're going to love it, Tony. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. I, I, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. What do we got? One, one, one. I don't like that. Let's see. On the virtual racetrack, Dempsey and Malone. Swimming past the competition, never race alone. Dempsey's got the skills, his velcro steady and true. But Malone's always wrecking, blaming others. What's new? I'm not wrecking people. Side by side, they ride. Hearts beating fast. Dempsey's Velcro power, Malone's dash, so sexy a blast. Dempsey's focused and determined, he takes every turn, but Malone's wrecking rampage, his lessons never learned. The rivalry heating up, the adrenaline's high, in this virtual world where races don't lie. Oh man, I wanted that to keep going. Uh, what's this? Go dance, why must you never stop talking? Your voice like a chainsaw, always did stalking. I wish I had a button to silence your sound. This one's... That one, I can't understand that one. Stupid AI. Get it together. This one. Just play it, man. These ones are from Checkers. No, not me. 
It's a song about my mustache. The weather? Uh, that's um, Race Labs. Race Labs does a lot of overlay stuff, and they added a weather one. Right? Correct. race fans welcome on in this is it this is porsche cup at beautiful brands hatch indy it's gonna get wet it's gonna get wild don't forget check out ace attack use my promo code matt malone to save five percent off you won't regret it let's go it's a fixed setup so all we have to do is grid correct here we go Go with the boomer start. The estimated SOF is 3,098. We expect to be fighting for the podium. 3,000 SOF. Here we go. Green flag, green flag. Cold tires. Get the apex there. We got to do thirty two laps here. <laughs> Spinner. The lead has gone off. It was the lead here. Oh no. Perfect. What the fuck huh? are you doing? The absolute fucking retard. Hell you fuck. Stay on the right. Whoa! Wow. Friendly, please. Stay on Sorry, buddy. Stay on the right. Good move. Short track racing. I don't think the hard R was the issue. I think it was what he said afterwards. I think... I think we won as a society because I don't think the hard, hard R is an issue. Wait, did I just line his tech tips that? Uh, you can say retard now. I think that's fine. We won on that one. Hold up, right next up.
How often does it rain? Never in this. There's only so many cars in iRacing that have rain. This is not one of them. Whew. You don't trust a seven car? I think it's fine. Gonna be a lot of work for 32 laps. <laughs> you really gotta know when you can be really hard on the brakes and when you can't in this car. Starting to get a train behind me. So slow. Uh, the next pesk is next weekend, and we're in the GT3 car. So there might be rain, maybe. I have no idea. Oh, this is the number one car. Do you want this spun out? I think I'm gonna make it easy on him. You got another thing coming, Jack. Side. That was good. <laughs> Shit. Look at his car. It's all damaged. He passes me easily. <laughs> Suck at that. Oh. Making it wane. What's up, buddy? Thanks for the 29. Hope you're having a good weekend. Man, 
this car. Passed you with damage, then set a purple lap. <laughs> and that makes me not feel good. <laughs> Fixed setup too, so uh, he's just good. <laughs> no excuses. The lap car. I'm about to run over him. Purple lap means he set the fastest lap of the race out of any out of everyone. Not just your personal fastest lap. Hey, Heresy! Hey, there's a guy in front of me. Another purple. Let's think about this. We're in the points. We got to hold. Maybe get a freebie, and then we'll be top five. Dude, the guy won't stop, man. Every lap is faster. I expect to see more lap traffic. I guess that'll come later, maybe. Driver. Thank you for being specific. Appreciate that. Can't even read chat in this. Ooh, true. Thanks for the four, buddy. What's Dempsey doing? He'll answer me. Uh, P10. Okay. Hey, Daryl, what's up, man? She was down here earlier. You know the guy driving the Porsche? Be careful of him. Okay. Hey, we're halfway. A little bit of a battle ahead of me. Now the number one car caught up. Oh, 
You know who's really good at this car is Quirk. slow car race next. If I just keep doing what I'm doing, should hold off this red red car. Can't have any mistakes though, you know? Not like the last track. I saw a video of a monster truck doing a double backflip. Big moment in monster truck, in the monster truck universe. It's like the first time, a, is I like first time this, a skater ever did a triple axle. Eagle. I wish Iris could tell me a little bit more on the steel with this Porsche. It's so nice. So you gotta pay extra to get rid of the understeer. Send money now. Anything. I'll get rid of the understeer, please. good by him to cover that. Jay Grind, thank you buddy, welcome. Ah, oh, good move, seven.
funky, crusty spaceman. Good to see you, dude. I'm doing, I'm doing well. What are the chances I can get him? Good man. Zero. <laughs> Thanks. No. Ugh. Windshield wiper, no reason. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The rears are toasted. Uh, tires are angry. We gotta be able to hold seventh, otherwise I lose I rating. We wouldn't want that. Join in the Ford, it wouldn't let me. Uh, I 
hope this guy doesn't make some crazy lunge. But you do. Enjoy your win. Matt dies in three. You don't two, have talent. One. Yeah. One <laughs> You're much, wrong. And it has all been scripted. SMH. Why do I even sub to this WWE scripted content? <laughs> so don't worry. Next time I'll have you. Oh boy, that was way too much work for 4-3 I rating. Good pressure, David. Nice one, boy. Worth it. I hate understeer. I hate understeer. Wait a minute. Why is my radar attached to my uh, radio? Turkey timeline, let's do it. Well, we did survive. That is that is good. Yeah, we survived. Didn't quite have the pace I needed. Here goes the leader. Oh, one, one grain of gravel. Oh, he did get hit there. Yikes. He came back and got second, by the way. Yeah, Nick, that was, those were good times. Rank Up Gamers just dropped a resub for 112 months in a row, by the way. A hundred and twelve months in a row. It's like 17 years. It's Krizzy dropping 89. That's nothing to shake a stick at. Let's not shake sticks. Uh, Krizzy, dude, that's amazing. Thank you so much for the 89 months. Uh, and Jay Grind, thank you for the 18, man. You guys are the best. Yeah, we got to drive something uh, a little easier next. I got a better one, though. Oh, here it is. Black Dog dropping a sub for 69 months in a row. <laughs> nice. Real nice. Really, really nice. I want to see a little bit of this battle. This is this is the last lap. I mean, I think the number two car can credit me for his win because I held up the number one car long enough, right? Yeah, he held him up pretty good. Or he defended really well, I mean. Three I rating. There you have it. 
three I rating. Uh, Dempsey got negative 66 I rating. Just the way it is. What's that? I said, great. Great. No, no, Sebring. You guys want to do a uh, production car challenge race in the Mazda? Yes. Oh, that's great. Does sound like fun. Out on Daytona's track, beneath the sun's golden grace, there's a tale of grit and glory about a man named that lone face to face. Dempsey checkers by his side with a grin that never fades. Bank up spotting in his ear as the engines roar and blaze. But Maloney's flying high, chasing dreams in that Daytona sky with checkers and rank up. He's got no fear as they race on by. Black flag, but he won't back down. He'll fight till the end in the heart of Daytona, where legends are said. <laughs> From the starting line to that first turn, he feels the rush inside. With each lap, he's riding history, with every twist and glide. Dempsey shouts encouragement, Red Cup keeps him on track. But when that black flag flies, there's no looking back. But Maloney's flying high. Chasing dreams in that Daytona sky with checkers and rent up. He's got no fear as they race on by. Black flag, but he won't back down. He'll fight till the end in the heart of Daytona, where legends are said. Through the speed stick and the crowd's loud cheer, alone hear nothing Dempsey says. With every pedal down and every turn that he makes He's chasing down victory with Maloney I. But Maloney's flying high Chasing dreams in that Daytona sky With checkers and rank up He's got no fear as they race on by So here's to Matt Malone on his Daytona 500. Dempsey checkers rank up by his side. No black flags may fly. His spirit won't break in the realm of Daytona 500. He'll always take his stand. Are you happy now? That was a good song. That was really great. That was a good song.
They don't say ace attack properly. Those are fun. Is this the 12 hours at the old World War II Air Force Base? It's true. Airplane? Oh, oh, oh. Maybe you don't say Ace Attack properly. Yeah, that's true. Very right back. Oh. <laughs> hey, Coach Malone here. I, uh, I'm just so proud of you guys. <laughs> I knew we could get the PPPPPP program to work if we just believe. And you guys believe it. You guys reach deep. You guys really reach deep. You made it happen, okay? Now, now, I am, uh, I'm just so proud of you guys. I, I really am. I mean, I mean, who could have seen it coming? You know, I mean, you guys, you guys started with nothing. Okay, and you dug deep. You dug deep. You got out there and put a head on somebody. And now we're living in dreamland. We're living in the PPPPPPPPPP program party, p party plan. And we're living the dream, aren't we? It's because of your hard work and dedication that really made it happen. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 Good morning, Pravi. How are you today? The polka song about Quirk's waxed legs? <laughs> now we gotta hear it. Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, exclamation point setups. Yeah, I'm using Ryko. Oh, I mean, a lot of the stuff on the website is up to date. It just, some things aren't. What's wrong with this car? The driver. Can't be. It's got the cold tires. It looks cold out here, too. 67 degrees track temp. But my uh, oil temp is 159. Uh, 
How long have I been playing this game? Since 2013. Boy, you think I'd be better at it. <laughs> you cut the cord, you've got to slow down and give up that time. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> Uh, I just started today. Yeah, it's uh, my first time playing this game. I uh, typically uh, stream the game called Warhammer. Are you familiar with it? At least I didn't hit anything. Usually me and the boys have a good sweaty session of Fortnite on stream, but Hey Magic Toaster. Fuck this dude. Someone spread butter on this track. Uh, it's uh, it's not butter. It's wax. The same wax that is used in certain uh, salons. Catch my drift. No, no. You need to explain more. Uh, I'm an innocent child. TOS. Hey, Mark Harper, good to see you. You like the dock? First thing I can think of is, are you talking about Dr. Disrespect? I've seen clips of him. I just got fired from my job at a beauty salon. Turns out a facial isn't what I thought it was. Ooh! Hey, in for fun. Hey, chat. Matt, if you had to recommend a good starting wheel to give sim racing an honest chance, what would you recommend? People say G29, but that wheel is super notchy and has a force feedback center dead zone. Oh! Dude, check this out. The brand new Asetech website is up and running for everyone, not only uh, UK, but the US shop as well. Dude, it's really good. Uh, look at this. So what I would do is I'd go to the La Prima bundle. This is very attractive. So you can get the La Prima bundle for $1,200, but if you use a promo code Matt Malone, you get 5% off of that. Um, this would be a good good starting point for uh, sim racing. I mean, if you got some money. It may cost a lot of money, but the good news is it's not expensive. Uh, so you'd be up and running uh, right off the bat with some super high quality sim racing equipment for 1200 bucks. The promo code's Matt Malone. They do an expat discount? Uh, what's that? So this La Prima wheelbase is 12 Newton meters. You get a rim very similar to the Forte rim, just with a couple a little bit less features. 
Oh, that's a that's a great view there, Malone. <laughs> it's almost like this, but it's just a little bit less features. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I got it. A uh, great website, though. But if you just wanted to buy the base, six eighty. So let's 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 get the discount here. Figure out what it really costs. Calculator. Six six seventy nine ninety nine. So you get thirty four dollars off. So six eighty minus thirty four. You're looking at six forty six for the La Prima base. And uh, the new website, if you guys haven't checked it out, got a lot more information about everything. Look at it. look at this stuff, man. They did a really good job. Race hub. Got it all. I like the pictures. Yeah, me too. All right, you guys ready? Probably gonna win the race. I mean, I'm just saying. You know? All right, race fans, get ready for a real white knuckler. It's uh, the production car challenge. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Watkins go. We're here, beautiful Watkins Glen for a heck of a race. It's multi-class. Let's go. Oh, I gotta put fuel in. Almost forgot. How much fuel? I think it's five three. Uh I don't know how much actually. Shit. I'll put in extra. Whatever, dude. I'll just put in extra. Fine. One to go. Next I can do twenty one laps. I think that's plenty. The estimated SOF is 5.3 would have worked? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'll probably win the race. Yeah, yeah, not a problem. Well, why are there other cars out here? Is this some sort of multi-class race? I see Toyotas. I'm in the Mazda. Oh, I thought this was the Ford only race. No! Oh, there... Oh, there's a bunch of Mustangs. Dang it. But I don't know how many people are signing up for each individual car because they took away that feature with a new UI. The old website, it was better. Come on, let's go. I got places to be. Let's come on. Let's go. <laughs> These people, <laughs> you know, hey, finally. Hey, 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 hey. Any Cleos? Joining the Clio. Very moist in New York. Oh, I can, I can see someone hanging back, eh? 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 Think you should catch the line, eh? Eh? Tire warming strats! Get ready. 
Going green. Oh, we're going green. All right, here we go. I think I'm way behind. I was doing some advanced uh, tire warming techniques. Green, 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 green. Starting dead last, guys. Don't worry, it's fine. Uh oh, we got a little bit of a roadblock here. I don't know what to do or where to go. We're Great all dead. Job there, on the start. Wee! Nope, slow down. Uh, slow down. Clear, clear. You guys spinning out. Look out! You're in the middle. Three wide. Three wide situation. Not worried. I'm not worried. Clear. Two wide. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Boom! Get him out of here! I think I think some of the Mazdas were cheating. What a start. I don't think all these cars work together well in multi-class. There's not enough of a speed difference in some of these cars. <laughs> careful, 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 careful. No! Don't come on track. Oh. <laughs> that guy's dead. I wasn't me. No, I know. Yeah, no. No, I am a witness. Uh, you did not touch him. Yes. Well, what place are we in? How many other Mazdas are there? I'm in third. Oh, I see the other Mazda. He cheated. Oh, yeah, yeah, I come out of the pits. slow are these things? I don't even know where the corner is. Line. Hey, Breaking hey, a straight line! Right side, stay on the left. Nice and smooth, you're running second. Stay on the left. Keep to the left. Hey, no pinching! <laughs> I think we need to play the Dempsey song. Car on your left. Uh, let's see, which one is in here? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Sorry. Hold your oh, brakes! Don't move! Steady and true, but my loan's always wrecking, blaming others. What's new? Side by side, they ride, hearts beating fast. 
MC's felt coke power in the long stash So sexy a blast Thinks he's focused and determined He takes every turn But Malone's wrecking rampage His lessons never learned The rivalry heating up The adrenaline's high In this virtual world where races don't lie Yeah, it's a Dempsey song Malone and Dempsey song Car on your left Still there might want to shift. Still there, hold your line. Faster traffic approaching. That was a crash, that wasn't a push. Still there. Zero X! Clear. Car on your left. Clear on the left. We'll never catch the leader. You think we can catch the leader? I doubt it. Nine seconds? We gotta make a run for the lead. If you want. Faster traffic approaching. You'll be quicker, you go from you go from turn this side. Turn this side, you both take this side! <laughs> okay. Left side, that was your fastest lap of the session. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Now suck me. <laughs> what? Suck it. Suck me. What did he say? Right hey, what's this guy doing? Oh, pig mouth. This is that part of the plot. You're on the right. No, boy, don't Jesus. Man, with all that excitement back there, I wish I could see it. That was a perfect bus stop, by the way. Well, it is your fault we lost the leader, Malone. I have a song to prove it's your fault, so... Uh, you can't deny it. <laughs> I thought that was a slowdown if you did that. I think I got back on track pretty quick, though. See, the other Mazda's involved in... Oh, oh pull the block, pull the block! You're on the left, three wide. Right side, two wide. Clear on the right. The guy didn't get the script!
fucking didn't pay him enough. Yeah. I don't think we'd catch him. Enjoy but, that, I mean, it's a long race, so you might as well try. Just try for a couple laps to see what kind of gap you can do, but. You got it, like out on the right. Toyota! Right side, clear on the right. That guy had a Huntington sponsor on his car. It's a mortgage company. It's my mortgage company. <laughs> why would you? Why would you support that? It's a weird sponsor. We'll give you a free house if you uh, put this on your car. Yeah. <laughs> you got five percent off his mortgage. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, explicit soul. Huntington, I will say, they have a wonderful website. You can go on there and you can look at your loan and then there's like a bunch of calculators that they give you where it's like, you can do all the math about like, if I make this amount of money extra to my loan, this it takes this much money off of interest and like, it, it's pretty, it's pre actually pretty cool. Or if I do like one big lump sum and throw it at the mortgage, what what will I save and how much shorter is my term, you know, and all that stuff. Oh, oh, oh! We got a chance! They had a little issue up here. Six nine! <laughs> We're gonna have to put a lien on that loan. <laughs> Your assets have been seized. You probably get roped into paying a PMI. I have PMI. <laughs> I always like to talk about mortgages. <laughs> Just thrilling conversation. I forget why I had to have PMI. There is a reason why. Like 40 bucks a month. <sighs> yeah, I think it was less than 20% down, yeah. I think that was the reason. We got so screwed on, um... When the assessor came to assess the house, they, it came it came in super low. We got screwed. Faster traffic approaching.
because we had to come we had to come up with a bunch of money from the difference of what they were asking between uh, what the assessor came in at. Keep it up. We're in a great spot. Left side. Keep to the right. Keep to the right. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. I wish the man with the mortgages would get out of the way. I don't want your great interest rate. Now move! No, we lost a second on the leader because he had that issue. And it was seven seconds. You gotta let him by. Blew the motor. It didn't downshift immediately, so I pushed it again, and then it it did. So then it shifted twice. Well, what's what's fun, Fox Die, is that in a hosted race or a league race, you can add weight to cars. So then you can give them like a weight penalty to try to make them so they're more similar in pace. So you'd have to give, uh, it, it all depends on the track too, like, but as far as like top speed goes, the Mazda has a higher top speed than the Toyota, but the Toyota is better at cornering, you know, or they're faster than the corners, but they have better acceleration, one of the two, it doesn't matter. So you'd have to adjust, basically you'd be making your own BOP but only based on like weight gain, you know? But you'd have to do it per track. And you have to get like really competent drivers to like test it out and it'd be tough, but you could do it. But I think for this track, you'd almost have to add weight to the Mazda maybe, I don't know. Depends on how good of a driver you are. He's from Sheffield. lap I don't know if you can reduce the power in like hosted and stuff I don't know I know you can add weight this is not Sebring 12 hour I was uh, promised a leader uh... Yeah, it doesn't look good. The guy's some sort of alien. He's a nerd. He needs to go and touch grass. <laughs> That's an off track. Yeah, 
Yeah, don't go touch grass. That's an off track. You lose your safety rating. That's unfortunate. Another fast lap. All this draft I'm getting. Pulling away from Dempsey with the help of the Toyota. This wasn't the deal, you flaccid penis. <laughs> Only with someone who could give me a great deal on a mortgage could slow someone else down. Open wheel I ratings higher than my sports car I rating, but This Mustang. It's slow. Yum. You're pulling away from the car behind. The gap is 3.3 seconds. Hey, blind wolfie. Hey, swine meeper, welcome. Uh, he's 5.3 seconds up the road. I mean, we're kind of cutting into it. He's behind a Toyota. At one point it was like nine seconds, and then it was seven. Slowing way down. Now it's five. Four point eight. I don't know what's going on up there. Hey, Flatliner. The car stopped on the right. You're pulling away from the car behind. The gap is 4.9 seconds. Go left. <laughs> All right. So slow! You were helping me! Left side, clear. Oh, 
we hit the wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah, We're getting white flagged next time by, unless something bad happens, I ain't catching them. But we were making a run at it, 3.6. It's the lowest it's been. White flag, one more left to go. Thank you. 24.391. Good feel we've been scammed by Malone, though. Scammed. Son of a I was willing to push you, and then you let me by. Biggest mistake of your life. Second's pretty good from last. Yay! Good win, Errol Dole Zoltan. You did really well. Why does everyone say like, "Oh, this is this isn't Sebring," or like, "This is this is this isn't Sebring"? I don't get it. No, Dempsey, I was in the draft and Dempsey just fell back. So what, you're telling me I signed up to a race and uh, thinking it was Sebring and it's not Sebring? Uh, uh, uh. This is Sebring, right? Please tell me it's Sebring. No! Not Sebring. All right, your turkey timeline. Here we go. Crazy start to this thing. I was a, uh, I was starting way behind when that green flag came out, but boy, it was a gag. Oh no, the gag. Oh boy, that is a hell of a gaggle. It got blown up. Gobble gobble. That gaggle got blown to smithereens. Hey, drip and rip. Thanks so much for the thirteen months, there, buddy. JDMR2, thank you for the two months. Appreciate it, guys. Welcome. Oh, man. Mustang into the wall. Oh, if, Dem if there's a good screenshot to be had, Dempsey will find it. Oh, Simpson getting the uh, old rug pulled out from under him, huh? Good maneuvering. Is that what you guys were talking about? Splitting the Toyota? So the results are in. Matt Malone getting 41i rating minus .06 safety rating. Easy peasy. Look at this action. Zoom. 
time. Oh, that looks like a slowdown. Whoa, buddy! Don't be coming in that hot to the bus stop. J Jake, what's up, man? Good racing out there. Pubs Wubs. Thank you for the first time sub, man. I appreciate that. First timer. Oh, the drift interrupted by the Mazda's bumper. I think he would have saved that. Dude, I thought I was going to hit that inside wall so many times on turn in to the bus stop. A couple times I was just like, oh, well, the race is over. I thought in my head for a split second. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe not. I guess I'll keep racing. <laughs> I thought I hit it. I thought I was going to hit it so many times. Toyotas are a lot of fun in this game, though. Everyone's having a blast out here. Look at him go. Huntington Mortgage. Looking to get a down payment. Hey, Double Dare. Good to see you, man. Whoa. Pit maneuvered. And karma Double slide. Double catch. Double awesome. That was actually pretty good. Oh! Boom, right in the kisser. Boom, right in the kisser. Hey, what's a good C-Class road series these days? That... No, explicit soul. That is a horrible suggestion. What? No. No. <laughs> Don't listen to explicit soul. He, he loves NASCAR stuff. <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know what a good... Uh, I don't know. I know it's not trucks at Coda. <laughs> you are a true American, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> I think... Um, Falcon Tire, right? Falcon Tire, GT4? Daytona Sky. Is GT4 uh, Class C? Gotta be, right? Real dead inside. Thanks so much for the four months, buddy. Yeah, I'd go GT4. Um, you can race uh, every hour. And there's a big selection of GT4 cars. And then if you want, you can do some LMP3. That's really highly competitive. Always uh, per good participation and stuff. It's not true, Blind Wolfie. All right, like I said, 41i rating. That was a real great race. Good. Too bad we couldn't catch the leader, but he was just too dang fast, man. Too dang fast. I mean, we could do an open wheeler. What's the weekly challenge? TCR at Long Beach. Lol. God, everything's at freaking Sebring, dude. It's so annoying. Still not. I still have not loaded Magello. I'm not going to do it today, either. Magello, Matt, you won't. Let's see. We'd have 23 minutes of practice. Super... F what is this? Super... F oh, that's a new car. Super Formula Lights... Oh, at Hockenheim? How long of a race is that? 30 minutes? 
This is not too bad. We can do that. Might as well. SFL is... It is a good car. I'm not a huge fan of the track, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, I reckon. Spice it up a little bit. I like variety in my life. A little bit of variety. I, uh... What have we done today? We did the Falcon Tire. We did Porsche Cup. Then we did Production Car Challenge. And now we're doing Super Formula Lights. I mean, if you like variety... I could call myself a variety streamer. Oh, the polka? All right, let's hear it. But on the digital track, engines roaring tires. Wait, that's not it. Hold on. Let's match these hairy legs. Let the polka loop begin. I think that's enough. I can't hear the lyrics. Oh no! From Casket Man, close call on Wednesday. Pucker level nine out of ten. Were you driving? This is uh the reason this happened is because they didn't prop. They didn't properly backfill along the uh, foundation walls for this. Uh... Although, no, no, I could be wrong. No, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. This uh, silo has been here for a long time. I can tell by the concrete. It's really old. So this is just an old trench that they put in here and didn't properly backfill. I'm guessing it's a hole that was never properly backfilled. A trench or a hole or something. They removed a septic and just tossed dirt in. Yep. Yep, 100%. 100%. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't look at this silo close enough to see all the rust. But I, I thought at first that it was they didn't backfill around the foundation walls. But yeah, this is this is a different issue. Yeah, if, uh, if you got a soft spot on a job site, a concrete truck will be the first one to find it. Ha, ha, ha. Nine yards? Yeah. We run tens around here, but uh, they get caught a lot. Yeah, that'll happen. This is Now, this is Casket Man. I'd backfill your hole. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, if you dig a big hole and you just put the dirt back in, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Unless it's in a green area, but... It depends on what you're doing. Any other uh, any other in construction inquiries? Okay. Whoops. <sighs> Correct way to backfill? What are you backfilling? A hole? A trench? Usually just use stone. Make it much easier. Because the problem is, as soon as you dig a hole and create dirt, like if you have a pile of dirt, and you want to put it back in the hole, first you got to dry it up, <laughs> then you got to put it in in layers and beat the shit out of it. It's just never... It's usually easier just to get stone and put it in there. Unless it's a green air, you know, it depends on what you're doing. If it's just, if, if, if just going to out in your backyard, that's different. Like, 
if it was out in my backyard or something, I would put it in in lifts at least and freaking smack it with the hoe or however you're putting it back in and I would do it in lifts and then the next year it's going to settle and you're going to have a hole there regardless. You'll never be able to get it back <laughs> exactly the way it was after years of, you know, if it's native ground, it's been settled. It's all settled out, you know. Can you smack hoes these days? Shit. I think I used the wrong term. But my biggest pet peeve, not pet peeve, but I see it a lot where I go out to the job site and they're like, oh yeah, they're going to be putting in some backfill and they're going to compact it and you got to go test it. Okay. And I show up and it looks like they went to freaking Walmart and got one of those, like the smallest walk behind compactors you can get. And they're, and I'm just like, well, you're not going to get it with that. I am like, I, I just can guarantee you, you will never be able to compact it hard enough to pass this test. It's like... <laughs> The worst compactors ever. I'm like, you're gonna have to get a bigger compactor. I'm sorry. Like, I won't even test it. <laughs> it's not even worth it. Hey, Ryan. You know how to pack it hard? Oh, I know it. How do you test for compaction? We have a gauge. Like a device. It tells you uh, your moisture content. And the dry density in cubic pounds. So it'll tell you how many pounds per cubic foot is the material. And then it has to match up with a, a reference number, which is usually... You got to take like a sample of it, run it back to the lab and run, a, run, run it in the lab. And then you know like what the maximum is. Then you got to get to a certain percentage of it. Bulk density? Uh, you're measuring the density of it. Yeah, it's a new. They call it a nuclear nuclear density gauge. Tells you what the percentage of moisture is and what the dry density of it of the soil is. For anything structural, it's got to be 95% compacted. You got compacted at Sebring? It's like the F4. Yep. I think it's faster. The concrete 3D printed ho homes? I think they're stupid. <laughs> they're so stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> like... You better make sure you got all your electric in there and all your plumbing exactly where you want it. Like, good luck trying to run, like, cords and stuff. Like, it's, like, wires and, like, it's like, okay, here you go. Like, it's, yeah, I, I think it's stupid. The aesthetic of it's stupid. Everything about it's stupid. No, because what I've seen is all the internal walls are all... Like, all the walls are concrete from the ones I've seen. And it's all just, like, dripped on there. And it, it, it's not flat or anything. I, I don't get it. So you're saying just the exterior walls? Yeah, I, overall, I don't like it. You don't want concrete walls. What are you, what are you living in? You want to live in a freaking concrete bunker? No, thanks. 
what? So you can save a couple of dollars on your heating bill every year? If you just spent the extra money on some high quality insulation, you'd be fine. I need to add fuel to the open set. I got a Ryko set. You should know what's up. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, just because you can 3D print a house doesn't mean you should. <laughs> I feel like that is one of the things where it's like, oh, I can 3D print a uh, plastic uh, whatever. Oh, if we just make a really big 3D printer, we, we could make a house. But, like, why? <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. I would never buy one. If the only argument you have is, oh, it's very energy efficient and it's good for the earth, it's not a good enough argument, in my opinion. You wouldn't download a house? <laughs> I'm reverse. You could easily frame the inside of a concrete structure, though. Yeah, no, I get it. No, I, I was under the impression at first that all the walls were concrete, but if it's just the outside, if it's just the exterior walls that are concrete, I get what you're saying. You could just frame everything else, but I still think it's dumb. Like, it's like living in a warehouse. Like, I don't, like, at that point, no, I don't, I don't get why you would do it. It's just energy. Like, they have, you can do bricks. Like, brick is way better looking. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Like, if you just want a concrete house, you can do that. They've been doing that for a million years. You can, you can have a concrete house. They just come and they form it up and they pour the concrete. It's nothing new. You're just talking to me. They're, they're just talking about, oh, a, a machine comes and takes f f 17 days for it. Like, no, dude, you just call call a concrete guy. He'll have it poured out in no time. I don't get it. <laughs> if that's what you want, I wouldn't want a concrete wall. Yeah, I don't get it. But anyway, yeah, it's cool. I don't know. Whatever you want, dude. <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't like it. But most of the brick stuff you see, that's just a facade too, you know? Yeah, masonry does take a long time. Are we talking about speed? Like, it's if it's a home, if it's a home that you're living in for 20, 30, 40 years, who cares if it takes a little longer to make? Like, are we really saving? Like, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they brag about a 3d printed house Like I don't know what all the benefits are. I assume They sell it by going real heavy on the green energy thing like right and then speed manpower Like these are all the things but like it is the end product actually good, you know, like do you want to live in it? Like, you know I don't know Oh, it's for, like, low-income housing construction. Yeah. Well, we figure they're one step away from prison as it is. We might as well just build them prisons. In the city. <laughs> That's what you're saying? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. 
we're gonna bring this prison to you. It'd be easier. <laughs> it's literally it. Yeah, Aiden, I don't get it. I have a co old co-worker. Old co-worker of mine lives in a um, old, 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 old farmhouse. And that was back when... Um, we're all dying. We're all dying! That was back when they used, uh, like, real wood for uh, home construction. Uh, not the uh, fast growing trees that they use now. You know what I'm saying? And they use just like huge timber. And he says, up on the second floor, there are zero creeks. Because all the wood is just so solid. And there's just no. It's just the most solidly built home. Now, I'm not saying all old houses are, you know, because there's a lot of old houses that weren't built well. But some of the old, old, old homes where they built with, like, good wood, like solid, you know, 100-year-old trees and stuff. Some of the most solidly built homes, like, ever. Like, really good bones, you know? Not like today. Like, all the houses today, they all creak and crack and moan and groan and it's just cheap wood, you know? Hey, DK. Going well. Yeah, when you deal with old homes, I mean, there's a whole nother issue, obviously. I wouldn't want to live in an old home, you know. Because all, like, if it's real musty or something, like, it can affect people's allergies and, like, yeah, it's not good. Yeah, the walls are thin. Usually with older homes, all the house or the uh, rooms are really small. Like, they used to make, like, rooms really small and the doorways were small. People were just smaller back then, but I don't know why that was. Now it's all, the popular thing is all open floor plan, which I think the whole open floor plan, I think people are starting to go away from that nowadays, but I know it's still really popular. Like, I don't particularly like some of the open floor plan houses where it's just like, I mean, ours is kind of like that with the kitchen and the living room all kind of like one, you know? But, uh, yeah, it's super echoey. You feel like you have no privacy. Like, I Matt don't know. M. Wave, Matt M. Drama, Matt M. Drama. But some homes take open, open, open floor plan to, like, a whole new level where it's, like, one big-ass room. But the worst thing about open floor plan is when restaurants do it. There's a breakfast place near us where it's literally... The whole restaurant is just one big room, and it is the loudest room in the town. It is so stupid. <laughs> like, there's no sound dampening, nothing. Like, it's just like, what is this? Like, like you literally can't even hear the person right next to you. It's the worst. <laughs> but yeah, there's other restaurants where there's like little mini rooms, like different areas, and it's much better, much quieter. Well, they don't have smoking in restaurants anymore, do they? In any state? Right, Zon or not. It's about how many people you can be feeding at once, right? But yeah. Yeah, some of those older homes, like the old farmhouses, you know, you look at it from the outside, and you're like, damn, this is a big house. And then you go inside, and all the rooms are like 10 by 12. It's like, uh. <laughs> Just how they did it back then. I think, it too, because they had a lot more kids back then. So you... They were like, go to your room, you know? <laughs> I don't know, some of my favorite YouTube videos, if you just want to, like, chill and relax. And, like, just kind of, like, ex like, escape your mind for a while is, uh, watch a lot of those, like, there's a lot of them and a lot of different variety, but, oh, he just hit me. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, I was going slow. 
is uh the old like uh the old mansion like walkthroughs and stuff not necessarily the abandoned ones but sometimes the abandoned uh like castles and mansions are pretty uh fun videos but just to, like try to imagine that you live there and like dude if i lived in one of those big mansions i'd get lost or i would like sometimes never even enter into a certain room you know Oh, that's true, Rank Up. Yeah, some of those old, old, old homes had a fireplace basically in every room. So then, yeah, so if you're just hanging out in the one room, you could just heat that one room. That's very true, yeah. There's smoking restaurants in Kentucky? Some of those walkthrough videos are like from the real estate agents and they're like, this is a $20 million ranch out in Idaho or something and it's just crazy. Like what, how could you ever live there? Like some of those places you literally have to pay a staff to live on site 24 seven to keep the compound up and running. Like that's like a whole nother level of rich. I would never want a place like that. It's just insane. Like, some of these places, the guest house is, like, bigger than any other house you've seen. Yeah, it's a totally different world. It's just, the, that level of extravagance is, some could argue, is immoral, but it's just not necessary. It's just a flex, you know? on or not damn dude yeah i like some of those real estate videos where they're like this 50 million dollar condo in new york we're gonna take you through it and they're like if you're interested in renting contact the listing agent oh really <laughs> you think that's a <laughs> Yeah, you, you think that's uh, people watching your YouTube video is uh, interested in renting it? $50 million? Like, yeah, okay. I don't think, uh, I don't think that's really your clientele. <laughs> Just go in the comments. Yeah, can I get a uh, private showing, please? Yeah, it costs a half a million a month. Just to keep up, yeah. And we'll probably win this race. I have a lot of experience at this track. Car on your left. Clear on the left. He passed me because he has uh, warm tires. Go, go, go fast. Looks like your car is towed. You'll need a tow back to pit lane. Press and hold the reset button and we'll come and get you. I think the video froze. <laughs> <Just. laughs> uh, uh. Be back. <laughs> hey, I'm.
I'm Matt Malone, and I stream iRacing. Thanks for checking out the stream. It looks like we're taking a little bit of a break right now, so just hang tight, you know. But this is a perfect time to type exclamation point socials into the chat. That way, it'll take you to my outdated website, and you can see me all over the internet right there. You got your Instagram, you got your X, you got your YouTube, you got your Twitch. I even started a MySpace account, and also I also have a Threads account, which uh, I never post on. I've kind of abandoned that, but if you want to follow me on Threads, perfect. You'll never hear from me uh, over there. But it, this is a good time to just check it out. You know, I'm even on the old TikTok, you know. If you don't worry about some uh, some some nefarious individuals uh, finding out your location and uh, maybe maybe getting to triangulate your, your position and be able to uh, missile strike you, you know. You'll be fine over there on TikTok. It's worth a couple laughs, you know. So uh, check it out, guys. I'll be back momentarily. Don't worry. So hang out. Have fun. Hey, you're part it's of the community right now. If you're, if you're seeing this and you're typing in the chat and you're hanging out, no, you're part of the community, the sim racing community. One of the best ever, okay? So I'm going to get on out of here because I'm, I'm coming back. I got to get on out of here so I can get on in here. You know what I'm saying? I got I to gotta get out to get in. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, bye. Thank you. Oh, 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 yeah, he's been doing all these. Right, wins every one of them now. Smart idea was this. Blame all accidents on Matt Malone. Oh my god, it's Matt Malone. I... No, I know, I'm, I'm not. I'm... I'm already going to his pit box to get an autograph. Yeah, it's true, guys. Uh, any accident that happens in the race uh, today, you can uh, file protest. I'll take full responsibility for it. It's just what I do for the people. Clip it, clip it, clip it, clip it. Pwn Zone Panda. Thank you for the tier one. A leak. Thank you so much. Number seven car. Do it. Oh, I don't know all the colors uh, rank up. I can check, but they're just basic ones. I know yellow, red. Green. You have to be a sub, though. Yeah, we. I should look into the having more stuff. I know you can do, like, Totally weird, crazy stuff with Lumia. The software that I use for the lights, but uh, the software is a little weird, and I'm not a pro user, so there's only so much I can do. Hey, Jacobus, good to see you, man. Vinny McFingers in the chat? What's up, buddy? One thirty flat. All right, I'm on it. If 
I knew my breaking points would probably be a little easier. Turbo sound. Thirty point nine, bitches. <laughs> got him. You've got wheel damage. This is this car is a three cylinder dual turbo. Twin turbo is what they call it. A dual. Three cylinder twin turbo. Can you believe that? That sounds crazy to me. Oh, I could get to 6K pretty easily if I wanted to. Not bragging, but I just do Mazdas and Mustangs all day. <laughs> A three turbo twin cylinder would be cooler, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Matt, can I show you a action I gived in Sebring 12 hour? Sure. You better hurry up, though. Uh, is it a link? Oh, now I gotta go searching for it. All right, all right, all right. Where is it? Where is it? Great quality. Why did you hit that guy? Why did you hit that guy? Why are you getting all upset about this? The next clip. Oh, this is the guy. Okay. All right. Let's see. So he gets hit. He was trying to pit. He's confused. Thinks he's off the racetrack. He's driving in reverse. He's trying to get back to the pits. Yeah, he's trying to get... He didn't know where he was. He's probably going back to the pits. I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't think that deserves a perma ban. That's crazy. Nice. You could protest them, but they'll just say, like, you know. Hey, you know, be careful out there. No, it's clear to me that he was trying to get to the pits. And then that GT3 guy blasted him. And then he was just probably confused on where he was on track. And he was trying to back up to make it back to the pits. And he's, since he's left of the white line he's probably assuming well i'm off the racetrack right he can do that he can do what try to get to the pits he can it's not safe he'll get a talking to um yeah you're not supposed to reverse on track like that but if they do allow you to reverse on track for a little while before you get dq'd um, but yeah, I mean, I, I would protest it. 
I wouldn't blast. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Hockenheim Ring. On the qualifying results here, pole position, Isaac Arvinson, the third, with a 28.4, a ludicrous lap, and well-deserved pole position. Second place, rated as driver number four, Gal Franco Pigotto, the third, with a 128.8, and in third, Mike Spann. And uh, he'll be spanning the top three of the track with a 128.9. This race, of course, has been broadcast on the Matt Malone American Sports Channel. And we have Matt Malone in the culture booth here. What's your expectation for this race? And are you excited for an intense result? Super excited to be here, James West. Thanks for uh, giving the pre-announcements. I'm, I'm just really excited to be here at Hockenheim, and uh, it's going to be a great event. I, I foresee uh, zero accidents and everyone having a nice, clean race. Let's go, boys! Now, now there's been a lot of talk in the paddock, but the reason you took the flight to Germany was because you were banned from the uh, Sebring 12 Hours. Uh, do you have any comment on that, for the uh, controversy that's taking place there, and why you were not able to take part in that race? Fake news, fake news, uh, none of that's true. It's all just to slander my name in the press. Fake news. Has anybody got a bottle of Rehypnol? Well, you heard it here, guys. It's time to go racing. Good luck, everybody. 30 minutes. No need to go too aggressive into T1, T2, T3, or the first two laps, but I'm sure you will. Let's go! Hockenheim ring. Yep. All right, race fans, and get ready for the best race you've ever seen. It's Hockenheim. It's the brand new Super Formula Lights. Let's get it. Matt Malone, number seven car. I start 16th. Probably going to end up in the wall. Here we go. Green flag, green flag. I don't know how to start the car. Let's go. Oh, boy. People spinning. Cold tires, guys. It's a Red Bull. Still there. Clear on the left. Okay. Let's try not to get involved in anything that would uh, cause us any damage. I'm causing damage. Nope, we're good. I'm still alive! Easy to spin out of there first lap. Go right. No! Right side. Oh no! Right side. Ah, my car's screwed. You've got wheel damage. Clear on the left. Looks like your car is safe. What? You'll need a tow back to pit lane. Press and hold the reset button and we'll come and get you. Car right. Clear on the right. Car stop on the right. Go, go, go. Okay, on the left. Still there. Clear. BS, dude. I tried to avoid it. I mean, the car's not even that bad. Stay on the right. Keep to the right. Clear. Stupid. I thought I 
did a pretty good job to basically avoid it. I don't even know where pit entry is. I mean, as you can see, the car is literally just fine. Hey, but what are you doing? Ah, that's my fault. Ah, dang it, I got scared. I hit the brakes when I should have just turned the car. Right? Oh, I just needed to stick to Apex, but it's kind of corny. Yeah, man. It's corner exit, but still, like, I was going slow enough. Ah, it's kind of on me. It's just... Yeah, yeah it just happened a little too quick. I had gotten on throttle... But just a little bump, like, what the hell? Yeah, just a small hit. Crazy. He's in seventh. Stupid. Oh, well. Come on, we gotta do an advanced Mazda race. It's at Bathurst. Come on! You guys want to? Oh, you know what? I bet the bets didn't pay out. Oh, they did, okay. No, some people bet crash. Look. Finny McFinger? You bet crash all? You s Oh my... G I cannot believe you. I cannot... B laughing donkey? You bet crap... P Why are so many people betting crash all? What's wrong with you? I can't believe you guys. Unbel that is a list of shame. They bet after the crash? You son of a gun. That's a list of winners. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, for this series, yeah. Dang it.
Open wheel does suck sometimes, huh? It really does. All right, let's get out of here. Good luck. Good luck out there. Well, it's, it's noon for me, Andrew. We're in uh, daylight savings time. Big dip. Thanks for the tier one, buddy. I love you. Gotta love it. Dude, Mazda at Bathurst sounds very therapeutic, to be honest. I asked you guys over on X about um, these tracks. Where, where did I put it? My phone was ringing. I was picking my nose. I what's going on, dude? No, I know the track. Oh, man. So, apparently, based on what Tony Kanan told me, you can basically put these uh, track maps up however you want because you can cut these off, the label. And you can put it wherever you want, you know? So, like, I would never put Road America in this. I don't know why. This website's really weird, but... I don't know why they would configure it like this unless this is north and south, I would imagine. I don't know. Because I want to get something for the back wall. A real statement piece, if you will. And I've narrowed it down between Road America, Daytona, but the problem with Daytona... Is that it has uh, this other chicane here, which is dumb, but... I mean, you really wouldn't even know. Yeah, it's north-south, yeah. Or Bathurst, which I would... Because I have, a, like, more of a landscape... Uh, area to put this in. So I'd have to turn it, you know? Exotic woods. These are LED. Here, I can go to the website and show you. Oh. <laughs> so, for instance, go to this one. Yeah, you can get an LED one if you want. I'll lit up. Oh, really? Off the bar? I mean, the big ones are big. I mean, it's big. It'd be perfect for that wall. You can get RGB. I mean, look. This guy likes it. The Nürburgring one is probably the their highest selling one, but... I don't really have any allegiance to it. I, I just... I mean, I think it's probably one of the coolest looking ones, but I, I don't know. I don't think that's really my style. Yeah, they're cool as shit. I, um, Tony Kanan has a bunch of them at his garage, and I've seen them in real life. They're, I mean, they're great. Yeah, Peter, but what Tony Kanan did is he has the Daytona one, but he just turned, he just... You can just take this off, this label, <laughs> and then turn it any way you want, and then put the label anywhere you want, basically. The website? Get you. Petrol Vibes, I think, or whatever it's called. So, yeah, they got a bunch of cool stuff. Car silhouettes. But I have no allegiance to, like, one car, so, like... I mean, you can do a custom one, but you're kind of stuck with just one. I, I don't know. Some of these are pretty cool, but... 
Fort Escape, man. Oh, yeah. Any hoogle. Yeah, I never switched the rim so many times. Active day. 200 bucks? That's for the small one, Sean. The big ones are like 500. Yeah, the $200 are the, they're smaller. I could click properly. No, there is no pesk today. I did, I didn't know there wasn't pesk. Uh, the, my last stream, I know I was talking about like, oh, see you for Saturday for pesk, but no, there's no pesk today. It's next week. Watkins Gleb. What's my streaming schedule? Uh, unfortunately, right now, it's Tuesday nights and Saturdays. <laughs> You haven't watched me in four years. What's up, Vortex? How you doing, man? Yeah. Since then, I got some Ferraris. Uh, it's not a big deal. They're in my garage. Boy, does my neck hurt. Uh, yeah, I got a new house. Remodeled the race room. Good times. Well, welcome back, man. I'm all grown up. I got two kids, a wife. Just got a new van for the family. Family van. We're living van life. Boy, does my neck hurt. Ow. Can you call an ambulance? Is that the one and only Matt Baloney? Here I am. It's Matt Baloney in the sun. I get an autograph. Best I can do is a 4X during the race. I would be honored. <laughs> Vans are underrated, dude. The Toyota, the Toyota Sienna is amazing vehicle. <laughs> when you're in the garage, you just the doors slide open. They slide open. It's amazing. The sliding doors are the best reason to get a van. You can get in and out so easy. Chuck the kids in. I throw them in from like six feet away. Good practice, guys. Sienna, most excellent. Oh my god, if another person says Sebring, I'm gonna fucking flip out. I put not Sebring in the title. Uh I'm gonna I'm gonna ban the word Sebring. called a call to action, sir. Well, I'm getting honorary. <laughs> so picky. Hey, Pizza Racer. Good to see you. <laughs> there you go, Tamora Yora. I tried. 
I was gonna do this 12 hour Sebring, but I couldn't find any teammates. No. I didn't, I didn't, I thought about doing it. And I, I asked uh, Quirk and Dempsey, but they, they said no. I asked on like Thursday night, Friday or something. I was like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Are you kidding me, Racing Revo? They stole my bit? You can't steal my bit. Hold on. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, wait, that's possibly what it is. Because Dane has sent it to me. Uh, wait, but... sorry. You've been sent a package by Dane and you haven't even opened it. Well, no, because uh, I got him to send it to my parents. I don't house. understand. What are they talking about? Sounds like a real snooze fest. Well, no, because uh, I got him to send it to my parents' house. Uh, basically, and I going around the outside compared to risking a crash. Whatever, dude. You have to provide a link. Everybody wrecked in the rain. Happens. Black Dog, call the lawyers. I'm gonna get their broadcast shut down. Gotta hurry if you wanna lap in or something, I think. Come on. Where's my clear skies one? You guys want a weather report? Back here at the iRacing Weather Center, we're gonna go ahead and look at the radar and see what kind of potential issues we're gonna have during the race. Let's take a look at that radar right now, shall we? Okay, it's uh, clear skies. Have fun out there. All right, clear skies, guys. iRacing Ambassador bans iRacing. Good luck. Hello from the Netherlands. Hello. What's the racing schedule? Well, I've already done a bunch, but we're doing a uh, Mazda at Bathurst right now. You snort WD-40? Well, maybe that's your problem. Can't tell what the weather is. You're snorting too much WD-40. Weather is hard. Don't tell me how to live my life. It's true. You can snort WD-40 all you want. Very true. Go for it. It's not a lubricant. It's a water displacer. There you go, Andrew. I'd only get one lap in here.
They used the in-game racing radar and had someone standing in front of a green screen. They stole my idea. That was the other idea I had, is where I can make a scene. It's like the weather center scene. Basically, it'd be exactly like my weather reports, but there'd be a cutout for my face and a cutout for the iRacing radar. Then you can cut to it and do the radar in real time. And it would be the actual radar from the end game. Never got around to it. Wouldn't be that hard. It'd be like the ace attack one. Well, WD-40 is great to clean stuff with. I, I use it in the dishwasher. And I go to put like a pancake on my plate and it's... Oh, just hit my camera. And the pancake goes flying. <laughs> Zooms right off of there. <laughs> oh yeah, I jacked this camera up. What's my wheelbase? It's a great question. Ace Attack Invicta, baby. What's my pedals? Boom! Ace Attack Invicta pedals. Yeah, buddy. Best equipment out there. Basically. It is really good stuff. If I were you and I was looking for some sim racing equipment, I would definitely consider Ace Attack. They just lowered all their prices in the U.S. And they just updated their website. It's like a really modern website now with a bunch of additional information. They have some good deals on the La Prima. Well, they have good deals on everything, but... Super high quality stuff. In pain today? No pain on the mountain. I have a La Prima. It's perfect for us bottom splitters. Daz, thank you so much for the uh, 23 months. I love you. Do you still post on the Ford Escape Owners Club forums? You son of a gun. Hit the jump! Hit the jump! Let's go for it! Go, go, go! You got it, you got it! Whoa! You got that corner and got a slow down penalty. Didn't get it. Didn't get it, guys.
Really thinking about switching to Ace Attack. Second last didn't have. My DD1 and V3 is doing good, but the problem is it's kind of gad, kind of gadget freak. Ace Attack is the best, yes. Hey Matt, I don't have a mortgage on my home, but Huntington is where I keep my millions. All right. There he goes, picking up all his Ace Attack gear. All right, are we ready? the mountain it's mazdas it's mount panorama it's a battle to the death let's go the estimated strength of field is 2782 all right here we go 2782 strength of field go ah so calming And the race is on. We're up, uh, we're 70 miles an hour. Can you believe that? Go, go, go. Making a move. No. Keep to the right. Keep to the right. Still there. Clear on the left. Go, go, go. A little foggy here. A little, a little cloudy. Here on the mountain. I don't think it's going to rain, though. Could be wrong. There's already a breakaway pack. Oh my. What's that guy saying? Slow, there's an accident. Right side. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Go right. Clear. There's an infinite behind. Right side. <laughs> Keep to the left. Yes! Not dead! Still there. No, they're not him. Still there, hold your line. Give it up! Hey, buddy! Stay on the left. Digo vivo! Still there. Clear. Give me the old slide job. 11 sliding. I'm sliding. Let's go. They're in the top 10. It's true. That's right. Step aside, sir. Step aside. Stay on the rod. I race an ambassador coming through. <laughs> Still there. Uh, not really tragic, no. Still there. Hold your line. The boost. Hay que llegar, por favor, como sea. You got it, buddy. 
empujándonos como sea, pero no luchando. Guys, piss. He's like, you know, I'm trying to push you. Get out, caught up. Oh, these guys messed up. Go, Malone. You can do it, Malone. Come on. Use your Mazda skills. You only been driving this car for the last 12 years. <laughs> you think you think you could get up there? Ever heard of cold tires? Hmm? Thank you, Bob. Tires are fine. Oh, we're dead. You got a slow car on uh -oh. the left. Uh-oh! Go left. Go shit, shit, shit. Malone, don't do it. Ah! Yes! Avoided. I voted two wrecks there. I avoided a self-inflicted wound and another car. I can feel the air. That's right. Feels good. All right, you think he'll pass me or do you think he'll push me? If I was him, I'd pass me because I'd been driving like poop. Who is helping? Oh, the wreck. Oh, golly gee. What are they doing back there? How to catch up. Gotta get a top five. Ooh. Come on! How fast does this thing go? You ever take it off some sweet jumps? Oh, Dempsey, I left you in there. I know. You won the race, probably, though, huh? It's okay, it's okay. Go on. I don't know about third gear here, huh? to catch these guys. I should own a Miata in real life? Why do you say that? What would I do with it? Let me just crash into me because they wouldn't be able to see me because this thing's so small. Everybody around here drives trucks as big as houses. We have a uh, the Toyota the 20 2013 RAV4 and uh, 2023 Sienna. But now that I'm back working, I just drive the work truck. The 2020 it's a 2020 2021 2021 Chevy Colorado. Extended cab. Suicide doors. Put the car in P1, just at the fastest lap. 33 point. The uh, RAV4 four is probably the fastest. The, the car in P. Uh, ah, the Sienna is probably the quickest. Yeah, the Rav Four is a V6, but I 
do it doesn't really get up and go. The Sienna is probably the quickest for some reason. I think it's because of the transmission and the battery. The Colorado is slow. It's a four cylinder. It's super slow. The four cylinder Colorado. Yeah, Chevy Colorado, it's a mid-sized truck, or it's the small, I mean, to me it's like a full-size truck, but yeah, it's the smaller truck. Te veo, corneta, te veo. I think it's a mid, I think they consider it like a mid-sized truck. Yeah, Shelby, yeah, it is actually pretty quick. It's a four-cylinder, is the Sienna, but it's got the battery, so. You gotta stop downshifting so early. Shit. Yeah, Finny. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of uh, the original Ford Rangers at work and they were so, they were actually pretty good little work truck. They were really small, and you could sneak in little areas on the job site and stuff. But now the f now the new Ford Rangers are the size of what an F-150 used to be. You know, it's crazy. Still there, hold your line. Got it on the left. Clear. Work in the construction business. Left side. Exclamation point work, I think, is the command. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Clear on the left. I got a big train behind me. Submarine screen door installation and repair. <laughs> My coworker's thinking about getting a Ford Lightning. I said, do it! I want to see it. Yellow car screwed up. I'm screwing up. Oh, I can't get it figured out. Sorry, Nicola, sorry. We're not catching anyone. It happened there. I've seen the new, when the new Mazdas came out, I've seen them at dealerships and stuff, and I'm like, oh, yeah, you'll die in that thing, not because it's dangerous, but because of everyone that drives a truck will just run into you because they can't see you. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Way too small. On the left. Clear on the right. I got it. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Got it. Saved it. Car on your left. You're on the right. Saved left it. Wide. Left side, too wide. Stay on the right. 
Clear on the left. Hey Dave, if we work together we can catch up with the leaders. Thank you, man. Thanks for what? That's what I'd do if I was him. This is all full throttle. You got a play car on the right. Yes. On the right. Someone's died. Oh, <laughs> Third place, dead in the water. Top five in the cards. Top five in the cards. Is the battle for fifth right now? It's happening. You're looking at it. You're witnessing the battle for fifth place right now on the mountain with the boss out. Never seen before in the history of motorsports. These sons of bitches think they can run away from me. The old, the old pinch rooney there. Two cars are faster than one? I can prove that theory wrong. Still there. Depends on who wants it more, you know what I'm saying? Get it! Get it! Yes! Ha 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 Yeah! That's a good pass, thank you! Thank you very much! He was just... He was fawning over that. You're welcome. He was fawning over the pass. He's a. Come on, come on. <laughs> fifth. <laughs> Calm down, Malone. You'll end up like the coach. Ah, que pueda pasar. Eh? Should I defend? That's no fun. Oh, he's gonna push me. What a nice guy. Hey, what is, what is he doing? Ah, uh, he's not following the script. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. Slingshot engaged. Jughead. We're gonna run away. We, we might be able to run away from the cars behind us, but we'll never outrun our problems. Gotta face those head on. <laughs> Can't just keep running away from your problems. Don't. <laughs> oh God, here comes JC. Right side. Ah! Ah! On the left. Don't touch me. Clear on the right. I didn't consent. Windshield wipers. All right. I actually enjoyed that. Too fast. Left side. Ah, shit. Still there. 
I'm not worried. This is normal. Have you handed out any autographs yet? No. Ow! Not yet. No, hit him square. <sighs> How much time we got? Eleven minutes? Plenty of time. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yes. Calm down. I don't think you need to use first gear there, Jerome. Maybe. In Tarti Fuete, we try. What the hell does that mean? Some different language or something. I've never heard of that, Jughead. This is my no no square. No. I saw him using his wiper, I'll use mine. The best I one. really enjoy in this battle. Probably the best pass ever. Yeah, it's fun. Move your ass! We gotta catch that guy. I think I got a little damage, though. So. Talking about my triangle again. You got a ninety degree triangle. Left triangle. The vortex of danger. That's where you put the kids' college fund into, right? That's the. That's where it goes. Try to carry more speed into that corner, please, sir. You're faster in that turn. Yes, I am. 
Thank you for noticing. Still there, hold your own. Clear. Yes. Finally, someone's pointing out the obvious around here. <laughs> We're never catching David, I guess. Might as well just battle. college fund anyway it's just money that you store away like in a mutual fund or some sort of investment that you just deem like you just tell yourself that it's like a college fund for the kids right it's not like it's not like be like yes I'd like to open up one college fund please <laughs> like that's not a thing you <laughs> it's just a separate investment a 529 Oh, I've never heard of that. It's If the state is doing it, I would not do it. The state's like, yeah, we have your best interests at heart. Why don't you give us all your money? And we'll just tell you it's for your kid's college. And then, you know, when you go to redeem it, we're, we're going to take like 50% of it. <laughs> sounds, like a, sounds like a scam. <laughs> Tax advantages. Yeah, but what does it earn? Like 3%? I don't, I don't trust it. Oh, if you use it for college, then there's no taxes on it. Okay, well, I can see how that... I can, but it's probably like, oh, what if you want to go to a private college or something? Then they're like, oh, you can only go to the colleges that we tell you you can use it for, right? I bet you there's some stipulation in that. Or what if your kids end up not wanting to go to college and they want to go to trade school? And like, oh no, you can only use this at highly esteemed colleges that we approve it for. Otherwise, you got to pay 40% tax. <laughs> I bet you, dude. Oh, okay, Fox Die. Okay. Did you read all the fine print? That's good, Swanks. All right, you're starting to convince me. <laughs> I think you are playing with me. <laughs> a living trust is something very important also, which I'm sure you already have, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got a bunch of those. <laughs> no. Living trust? Why did I have to read it like that? Because <laughs> I knew it was bullshit. <laughs> no, was, uh, there's a uh, bank near me. Tell me if this is a good deal. They got five month CDs paying out 5%. Hmm. That's the best that I've seen. Not that I'm looking for them. Yeah, it seems pretty damn good. Not bad. Ask for seven. Okay. Can you do seven? Seven and a half? Nine. Can't do nine? What about ten? Can you do ten? They're like, sir. Why not laser discs? <laughs> Go for crypto? No, I can't. I'm sweating on the inside. It's called bleeding. No, I have internal bleeding. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> LDs are paying out 1.2%. Yeah, laser discs? Sweet. Uh, 
Oh, man. Dude, the very first time... Dude, <laughs> the very first time my elementary school teacher brought out a laser disc, I thought he was an alien from another, another world. <laughs> I was like, what is this? What is that? What does he have? This is some extraterrestrial technology I've never seen before. <laughs> Last lap? All right, we'll pass him. I guess. If you guys want it. You guys want it? Oh shit, last lap, we got some weather coming into the area? This is not good, guys. This is not good. The clouds are getting dark. Oh no! Oh no! How am I gonna do it on the last lap if I'm getting struck by lightning? What the hell? This mountain pass is gonna be tough. Get him! Get him! The tornado's coming! We're seeking shelter! Ah! Ugh. Woof! Good thing that cleared up. Yikes! I was gonna have to call Reed Timmer. Let's pass him on the mountain. Let's not and say we did. Oh! Oh! Windshield wipers. Oop. Yeah, track dried quick. Oh, see, I think I got... Uh, he had a good run out of there. I don't think I can get him. I'm a little banged up, so my draft isn't as strong. Man, if it wasn't for the slide there. <laughs> what? I win! Very deserved win for me. Oh, that guy wrecked! Thank you for the battle. Six! Oh, I could have had a top five yeah, if I... Oh, jeez! Yeah, good racing, although I was left behind. Good racing. Good racing, JC. Is that the JC that's... Do, thank you. Is that the real JC? The one that wrote all those books? Oh, no. Alright, good job. <laughs> uh, I got eight I rating. Gamer move was brought to you by Ace Attack, guys. Go pick you up some Ace Attack if you want to really showcase your skills out on the mountain. Pick up the chicks, eh? eh? Moves like that can get it done for you, all right? I was trying to wreck. <laughs> what kind of move was that? Hold on. Little little hot dog in it out there. Not a big deal in the Mazda. If you guys like hot dogs, you guys like hot dogs? Yoink, yoink, and the avoidance. I like it. Actually, I want to see it from his perspective. <laughs> Turkey timeline, let's do it.
Yeah, moves like that is how I locked up Samantha as a wife. That's right, Farsi. Do you like them skills? <laughs> Hot dogs with Cheetos inside of them? Wait. Are you talking about... Because a hot dog is weird, like... Are you talking about putting Cheetos inside the actual meat casing? Or are you talking about using Cheetos as a condiment on your hot dog? That was a big wreck. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. retaliation? It's retaliation, but they were both wrecked out anyway. Well, I think the one guy was just kind of like pulling over because he realized he's like, ah, I can't continue. Did you see the inter intentional wreck in F2? No, I didn't. That should not be happening in, uh... Hey, it's J.C. Lozano, Jose C. Garcia. Hey, man, what's up, dude? Good race. Couldn't quite get you there. That was a good race there, buddy. That was a lot of fun. You got top five because that final wreck there. Oh, is F3 was the uh, retaliation? More lightning? Nah, you don't want more lightning. It's dangerous. Oh, you had the stream pulled up as you were racing. That's dangerous. But it's also fun. Yeah, it was good racing. Oof. He drove right into that wall there. If I was him, I wouldn't have done that. Doesn't seem like a good strategy. Okay, he's got some fruity pebbles. Hey, Puff! Thanks so much for the eight eight months from Puff. Eight months from Puff. Puffing it for eight months. Thank you, buddy. Jeez, Fred Flintstone needs to take his driving license class again. Oh, look at this train. I was holding everyone up. There's JC. He's getting in the mix. Battling the seven car. Gray versus yellow. Who's going to win? Oh, that guy got ham fisted. I'm not sure that's, I'm not sure that's a phrase. Whoa, whoa. Windshield wipers. Oh. Oh, 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 Maloney got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Nope. Oh, saved it. <laughs> Perfect. Check your Twitter wink. Oh, no, Jughead. Thank you for the two months. Appreciate it. Called X. What am I looking at? Oh no, what's this? It's a music video. I'll get banned if I play it. Alright, let's see uh, the results. Good times had by all, though, I'd say. Matt Malone getting 8i rating for this spectacular race on the mountain that had really everyone, everyone participated that was really, really good effort out there, you know? Uh, whoa, my safety rating, yikes. It's fine. It's fine. Don't you worry.
No, no, don't touch me there Is what I told my uncle but he didn't seem to care It's my secret little <sighs> There's a reason I don't click on the links a lot of the times Duty. How are they doing? As if I said, if I press space, which then hides the UI, it hides the relative. First place! Oh, I don't want Ty overlay. You are the first person to say that this, uh, that this stream. I haven't used it for years and years and years. I don't contend with using it now. Well, that was Jimmy. Just for fun. Uh, well, guys. Lots of fun. Okay. If you guys are interested in uh, picking up some sim gear, check out Ace Attack! Exclamation point Ace Attack! Use my code Matt Malone for five percent off. Uh, you won't regret it. It is some of the highest quality uh, sim racing equipment that I've ever used. I wouldn't be working with them in a partnership together if I didn't believe in the products. This is the company that sent me out. I've been sent a lot of products, and uh, simply a company giving you free equipment and then expecting free advertisement from it is a uh, is a lot of what a lot of companies do to get free advertisement but this wasn't that it says use our equipment if you like it then we can talk about doing some stuff but if you don't like it well first of all first of all tell us why you don't like it so we can make it better and whatever you can just throw it in the trash if you want or whatever you know so that that was it was a much different approach with ace attack so and i and they've given me complete uh freedom of uh creative freedom with everything that i do i mean could i really be doing this <laughs> it's hilarious right like that kind of stuff they they love it so and i've never had i've never had to uh get them to sign off on anything before i do it so it's been a lot of fun but uh anyway what i'm saying is that i do actually believe in their products and i do love it and uh and like i've said what are what are some of the things that i don't like about ace attack okay um all of the rims and the the just the looks of of the equipment i guess i could see some people not liking the vibe of it um, they don't have a steering wheel that has a screen on it yet, right? Uh, some of the Ace, Ace Attack products people would say it, it costs a lot of money, which is true. But at the end of the day, it's not expensive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite lines. Um, yes, it's 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 expensive compared to what Logitech, but you get what you pay for. It's much higher quality, and I understand that not everyone is in the market for the upper echelon of sim racing equipment. I totally get that, one hundred percent. And I can tell you that if you're a brand new sim racer, maybe look at like a Moza or a Sim uh, uh, Sim Magic or. A, Logitech or something like you know you can get a you can get a used Logitech G920 with pedals for like two hundred dollars on Facebook Marketplace okay I mean yeah it's totally different um, but when we're talking about high quality sim racing gear for instance like like in my opinion if you went and got the Forte bundle. That's it. You're done buying sim racing equipment. As far as like wheelbases, it's 18 newton meter wheelbase for the Forte wheelbase. It's incredible. And then you can always get different rims and stuff for it. But uh, like if you got an old GSI rim like I do or a big old thing, the quick release on it's the best. I really can't. I, I it, It's just super impressed with it. So just so you guys know. And 
the the sponsorship and and stuff like this continues to make uh, everything possible you know so it's uh they've they've been really good to me and uh hopefully i've shown my value to them and uh i think it's a great fit as far as uh what i what i'm what i'm what i'm doing and what they're wanting to do they're pretty new in the sim racing equipment industry so it's always fun to uh, see what new companies can do and, and just the level of quality and the level of like advancements that they've done in the short amount of time. Because you get like new companies in the space, they have major issues with everything and this and that and it's a big freaking problem. But like they came onto the scene, they immediately had this high quality equipment and it's just like ever evolving. It keeps getting better. They're going to be releasing, well, I have no idea when, but they talk about they're going to be coming out with the Invicta rim wheel soon, right? And so that'll be, you know, if it, if it lines up with the same quality as all the other stuff. Um, but yeah, I, 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 yeah, the only couple things you could fault them on is like, yeah, it's a lot of money in comparison to other sim racing equipment. But it's on a different level when it comes to quality. So it's like, if Logitech made a wheelbase and rims the same level of quality than ace attack then they'd be charging more than what ace attack is charging i mean i'm just and uh yeah i can see like people not liking the orange they use a lot of orange it's kind of their thing you know maybe you don't like the the logo or something i mean i, I don't know <laughs> but all the rims do all the rims have the same look and feel to them and if you just aesthetically don't like it i could see that but you can get any rim you want for it and get the quick release but and a lot of the the rim companies out there i know gsi's talked about it uh asher i believe has talked about it a lot of these other um uh, rim people that make people that make steering wheels when you go to buy one like i see you're on the g i don't know if this is true or not yet but in the future at some point maybe even now if you go buy a gsi rim you can just say hey i want the gsi rim with an ace attack quick release on it boom you get it there's no cords nothing you just slide it right in you're you're good to go you know so Yeah, because the ace attack rim or the ace attack quick release has the usb port in it so any, here, I'll show you. So like, for instance, this, this is a GSI rim and it just gets hooked right up to the, now the problem with the cord is that the GSI rim has a long cord, but that's why they're changing it to where it'll all be integrated basically. Cause there's a little female USB. There's a little female USB coming out of the QR the for the uh, Ace Attack quick release, which is amazing. Then it all just, you know hooks up hooks right up so the screen and everything the screen and everything works on it you know what i'm saying yeah the slew rates oh yeah dude if you want to talk about slew rates listen <laughs> yeah the technically too the ace of tech stuff is pretty high end but anyway i don't know really why i got off all into this oh i'm just saying i'm just saying you know like support the companies that support the stream you know and it's a new company so people don't really know about it so i'm, I'm letting you know i'm like a billboard the software yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Right there, yeah, yeah right. so this is your software it's called race hub i think um you got your button configuration, your shift lights. You can change all this if you want. I changed it so when it so it meets in the middle, it'll meet in the middle, and then a white light right in the middle. You can change anything you want to this. There's different ones you can use. Um, different LEDs adjust the shift curve. You know, here is left to right, center to side, whatever you want. I mean, this it's just an LED thing, and it also shows all the flag lights. If you like that kind of stuff, I mean, usually you're not looking at your rim, but it's just kind of cool. Uh, this is uh, like real time shows you your wheel, whatever like wheel you put on here, it recognizes it. So if you take this off, put this one on, it knows what wheel rim it is. So then now this is the Forte one and it switches right to the Forte, the Forte 
you know, it's just graphical, but. And then obviously, if you put the GSI on there, it's not. It doesn't know. It it just shows an empty hub, but I think that's understandable. Then you go into your tor torque, and then they have different. They have an F1 and a GT3 one. I think I got to figure out where, because there's like forums and stuff. People, you can share. Uh, you can like. I think you can share and stuff all your different profiles and everything. I just use regular GT3. Then I changed it to 900. I really haven't messed with a lot of this stuff. Um, 27 newton meters. This is the Invicta one. Oh, there's a basic tab. Uh, I don't know. Anti-oscillation, cornering force assist, high frequency limit. Just, it's wild stuff, you know? Uh, same thing with the LED. You can change all on here. Make it brighter. I mean, that, that stuff's kind of gimmicky, but, you know, it's cool. All this stuff, you know, whatever. And then your pedals... They got nice pedals here, you can see. I thought it showed the pedal moving. Where was that? Maybe not. Um, you can calibrate them. Put in a little dead zone immediately. Pedal mapping, which is cool. See, this is how I have my uh, throttle. Maybe I should have it like this, though. Maybe this is the curve that I need. Think about it. If you're a Thunderfooter... Maybe this is better. Damn, maybe I was using the wrong one. Because I'm pushing a lot. I'm, like, on the pedal a lot right now. And I'm at 40. This might help, dude. Anyway, all right, maybe I'll try that. Uh, brake, just linear, you know, obviously. And your clutch. I changed my clutch like this, so you... <laughs> not only do I short calibrate my clutch, but then I also use this curve. To, like, make it hit 100 quicker. Yeah, Pizza Racer. The I would say the Acetech ecosystem is very good for room for upgrading and stuff. And then uh, each pedal has a light. I have it set to white, so it shines a little light down there. But I, I don't have a camera to show you. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And then with the new website, the new website on Acetech is amazing. Anyway. Uh. What does it do? Can it also show you how much input you're giving it when calibrating dead zones? So right now I'm pushing on the throttle and it's, it's telling me, yeah. So right now I have a 2% dead zone. Right? No. Yeah, okay, yeah. That answers it. But yeah, to be honest, to be honest, I haven't messed around too much, especially with like the torque and stuff. It just felt good out of the box, so I was like, I'll leave it. And this is where you can change all of your lights and stuff. If you want this particular light to be one way, you can do it, and then it can change if it's pressed or unpressed. I mean, it's pretty typical stuff, I guess. Well, the oh, you have to understand that the Acetec uh, pedals, uh, the brake is a two-stage hydraulic brake. So, it's you can't really compare it to many things on the market because uh, it's more like a real car where most of the good pedals out there are use elastomers, where it's just a piece of rubber basically either softer or, or a series of elastomers or a couple of elastomers di at varying degrees of softness or hardness right so then when you're pushing on the brake and you're compressing these elastomers like at a certain point like it's really hard to push and it, they're they're all load cell pedals you know so it's it's a uh, 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 measuring how hard you're pushing down on it so the uh, 
Ace Attack is two stage. So the first stage is using the Elastomer, and then the second stage, once you're past that, and there's all there's like no travel left over in the brake pedal. Now you truly are based on pressure and you're in the hydraulic part of it. It does take some getting used to, and I can see why not everybody would like it. But it's a it's a harder brake pedal. But I've changed mine to like the softer. Uh, I use the softest elastomer, and I have the. I think I ha I have the. Um, there's a uh, another mod you can get that will increase the travel for it. So then there's a little bit more feel to it, but it helps with trail braking. It helps with knowing where you are better in the braking uh, zone or influence, I guess I could say. Um, but it took it took some getting used to, but I do like it overall. Um, but uh, you know. Not saying that it's a better system than other stuff, because I had the VR. I've had, I, I, the VRS pedals were great, but it's more of like your brain kind of knows. You know, your brain will know like at a certain pressure, this is what you want. So it's really, I mean, it, the two stage thing is it's cool, but it's not like you're gonna be that much better of a driver because of it. The throttle pedal on the Invicta is too soft. Um, I think I... Did I back mine down a, a little bit? I think I might have backed mine down a little bit. I don't want a super strong... No, I... I people usually don't want a strong throttle. It, it, it gives me resistance. It makes it so, like, I can modulate the throttle pretty easily. I mean, I'm a Thunderfoot guy. I may not be the best guy to talk about this, but... But it gives me some pushback. Yeah, it feels fine. I mean, a, a throttle isn't like... You don't want it to be strong. It comes with another spring. Um, I believe the other spring it comes with is uh, makes it stiffer. So I don't think that should be an issue. To make it stiffer. No, it definitely doesn't bind. It, it, it does want to come back. It, it wants to come back pretty strongly. Like as fast as my, almost as fast as like I can take take it off, you know, take my foot off. It's 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 tracing my foot back. Oh, James Baldwin. Well, listen. Now. James is cool. But yeah, everybody's got different preferences. <laughs> Remember when I let James win 1v1? <laughs> Shouldn't have. Should have smoked him. Anyway. <laughs> the Venom or the Sprints? Yeah. The Sprints always come up in conversation. I would look at... I would look at VRS, though, for sure. Um... I mean, you can get the La Prima pedals are pretty dang cheap, too, so. Yeah, they really have slipper. Yeah, and there's some new stuff coming that I can't talk about, but. Yeah. It's, uh, every step of the way, man, it's just, like, improving, improving. And, but also. Like. How am I going to put this? Like, there is such a new company where, like, you understand, like, things are new and they don't have, like, a bunch of products, blah, 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 blah. And, like, so a lot of that's understandable. But, like, every step of the way, like, they are improving. Come out with new products. Do this. Do that. Like, they are. Like, that's all you can ask for for a company as brand new as they are. Like, it's pretty wild what they've done. I mean, they had the biggest. They had uh, the biggest. Um. Uh, what is it called? Booth? They had the biggest booth at uh, the last uh, Sim Racing Expo. Like, they they came on the scene and they splashed hard, man. And I think um, I think they're doing great, man. Every step of the way. Anyway. So yeah, whatever. Check it out if you want. 
I think the teaser video that they did, maybe it has to do with the Invicta. I don't, I personally don't know. I would, yeah, my suspicion, like I said, I have no inside knowledge on the Invicta uh, rim, but I would suspect that it would have a screen. It just makes logical sense. I don't know if it's going to be an F1 style rim, if it's going to be a round rim. I have no idea, but I would assume maybe because maybe they do because they have the Forte button box with all the different rims, you know, which is is cool. Um, that just keeps their ecosystem tighter, I think, so it makes sense for them as a manufacturer as well. But you would think that they'd come out with a Forte F1 style rim and a Forte button box, and then you could swap out. Like if you have the if you have the Forte button box with all the rims, you could go get the the Invicta button box and use those rims on the, the that'd be cool when right? will we see full-time streamer good idea. Malone. sanjo thank you for the uh two months man i appreciate that well you never know so i mean it, it makes sense a lot, a lot of the stuff that they're doing um so but anyway let's go uh but also another thing i wanted to say i do appreciate you guys like supporting me having like sponsors and stuff and uh stuff like that so and i and i try to make it fun for you guys um but i i don't i don't ever want you guys to feel like uh you're being pressured into something like don't think of it that at, at all like i would never look down on anyone that you know uses different equipment or anything it's not like that or don't ever feel pressure you know <laughs> so you know but the gimmicks are fun for me and it's a fun way to introduce the brand to people and you know so it's just stuff like that and then they like it too so anyway let's go raid jimmy mate All right, guys. Well, I do appreciate you guys hanging out. Enjoy your weekend. <laughs> Explicit soul. Thank you guys so much for the subs and the resubs and just hanging out, having some conversation. I know the 12 hours of Sebring was going on, so, like, you know. But you guys were still here watching me do dumb rando races, so I appreciate that. Um, let's go watch Jimmy. He's leading in his 12-hour split. He's racing with uh, Super GT, so this is, like, super star-studded. A team here. He's hanging out. Let's go say, uh, what, what should we say in the chat? Say, uh, wow. Jimmy's number one. Jimmy 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 number one. Keep it going there. Um, so have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for all the support. If you guys have an exclamation point socials, all that good stuff, Discord, YouTube. You know how it goes. Have a great day. I love you. Goodbye. Don't worry about everyone else who didn't get DC'd, though.